quick. All right, we we is up. Is we going? is up and ready. Hey, hey, everybody. Let me see. Today is Saturday, October. Sunday. Sunday, o October, <laughs> March. Sunday, Wait, October eighteenth. October eighteenth. <laughs> yes. Two thousand and. 2020. Yeah. 2020. I used to watch that news show with my mom. 2020? Yep. Oh. I watched that in 60 minutes back before there was 24 hour news. Sounds like a lot Not of Not that I watched 24 hour mm. news, but back before, that's what you had. All right. So, how's everybody's week been? Good? Busy. Busy? Me too. I've been, I've been doing lots of pin things. <clears throat> I've got almost yeah. all the pin things sent out. There's a few more um, things sent out. And uh, just been working hard and keeping busy with lots of stuff. And Jasmine's been keeping busy. I have been, yeah. Oh, you guys have seen me somewhat, um, some of you, on my Crabcast. I've been working on for my Patreon people throughout the week. been working on a lot of little miniature paintings and stuff, so I'm, I'm changing it a bit today and working on this super giant painting. I might actually have to get up and walk around a bit while I'm doing this broadcast because this painting is like four feet tall and I can't, my arms aren't long enough to reach all of it. So apologies in advance if I'm kind of leaning in front of things or if you see weird cameras that you don't usually see. Because this is a big, big painting. It's a big painting. It's So Jasmine went yeah. from like a smallish painting yeah. to uh, little tiny paintings. Which we call mini paintings. Yeah. And then big old painting. Yeah. Big old painting. Yeah, also, too, it's hard um, to keep the camera on one, since it's a very large painting and the camera's just like two feet away. There might be times that I look like I'm painting and you can't see what's going on because I'm working on a different part of the painting. You might see me down here as opposed to up there or whatever. That's okay. We can chat. Yeah. What I'll do next time is I'll actually set this up at my big easel that, that I was going on and on about that's like a few feet that way. And we might move the cameras around for that because that might Right. I was working at the office this morning and yeah. then I came back and I see that Jasmine had <laughs> popped her giant painting over there and I'm like, oh, oh, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> that's what's happening. Yes. Yes. Blob says mount it higher. Well, Blob, the thing is no, we don't need, we don't need to mount it higher because this, this she's using it on the desk you, you usually would not paint it on. Uh -uh. She just felt like painting on that today. Yeah. So instead of moving the camera, she moved the painting. Yeah. If that makes the, any the sense. The thing the camera's on, it's only two feet long. Yeah, so we have a devoted thing. You, we could it mount it off the wall, but that, using the wall too much for. But then my head would be in between the. No, the not if we uh, not if we boomed it over your head and then popped it down. Like from the I'll just start turning oh. into like a freaking Hollywood producer after a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, I, I got it, Bob. I know you're talking about the camera. Mm -hmm. But right, the camera, Javin doesn't want to mess around with that thing too much during the broadcast, probably. <laughs> just take it around the house, Javin. I get one of the little drones that kind of buzzes it out. It'd be like the opening to the hit series ALF. Where Alf has the camera. Yeah. I keep up talking about all these shows on my mouth. All right. So, uh, let's see. Nothing overly monumental happened this week in n normal people's lives. Uh, normal people. Well, you know, there's a lot of weird political stuff happening, but oh. we don't talk about that much on this channel. And we have a lot of international people who don't need to hear the gripes of us. In on, on you know, they're they're not American. They don't need to hear that stuff. Uh, but yes, there there's an election happening in a couple weeks, which is a big event for our country here in the U.S. And um, but yeah, uh, it's the weather's been fantastic here in Florida. Yeah, it's probably nice. went down probably about. Five degrees across the board, mm -hmm. uh, which you can really, if you if you're used to these really, you know, hot subtropical texture or textures temperatures, uh, you can really feel that decrease in temperature. Oh you can, yeah, the yeah. difference between 97 every day and 91 every day is a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Especially people like me who like keep the window open a lot when I paint. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. 
but yeah, it's uh, it's been good, but the, it's still swimming weather. Um, I, I was, I mean, I was getting a breeze and it was 86 degrees, and I'm like, man, that's that's a nice chill, but it's 86 degrees, so when you're used to 10 degrees hotter, it really makes a difference. So raffles today. Uh, our first raffle, we have the print of the week, which is a little bit of a departure from what we've had before. It's a Faces of Fairy. Oh, yeah. Here, and I believe that you yeah. signed that I earlier, did. Jasmine. You even had a cute little movie that you put on uh, on uh, your social medias. <laughs> yeah. So this could be yours. Ooh. If you win um, hour one, yeah. first raffle, and we'll do that in about 50 minutes. 50, oh, five zero. Siren Moonbee says Streamlabs isn't adding me. Let me double check that. I can actually look at the list here. And did add a lot of people. Well, let me ask you, Siren, are you are you uh, following Jasmine on this channel? So you need yeah, to follow the channel in order to uh, I think for it to add in you. order to work. That's the difference between the Streamlabs and the old like. I see your name in there. Your so name is indeed in there. I, I see it. Okay. So you should be good. Yeah, I think the the Streamlabs, uh, just the being able to view who's in the chat. I mm -hmm. wish it was in alphabetical order. Um, is that how it works? Uh, it's just a lot, a little bit nicer for me to check. Mm. Easier for me to check. Gotcha. So I like it. All right, so that is hour one, and along with that, oh, yeah, for a limited time, the next several weeks, mm -hmm. we're giving away calendars. We want to give all these mm. calendars away. Oh, Jasmine needs a second. Sorry. Stupid lights. Okay. We want to give these calendars away before uh, twenty twenty one. Next year, yeah. And I've got two of them. There's a miniature one that's like that's raffle hour number one, along with your print. And the big wall calendar. Big calendar. Hour number two. Little calendar. Yeah. They're different. They got different pictures in them too. I think. I don't. They're not. Are they all different? Mostly different. And these are available for purchase also. You can get these. Yeah. At bookstores and Amazon and calendars.com. They're really pretty. They're made by Flame Tree Publishing, a very nice British publishing company that we've been working with for quite a while. Um, I used to do occasional calendar projects and book projects with them, and then they've started doing my yearly calendars also. And they've got nice little foil embossed pictures on them, and of course, you can turn it into prints when you're done with it at the end of the year. Oh, Kaylee, you're in there. Don't worry. <laughs> Is it not telling people when it's I guess not. not. Oh, okay. You're in there, Kaylee. Oh, thank you for the subscription. Oh, thank you. A L Z A Y L Z E eighty <laughs> two. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Uh, Wendy Tinkerbell said I ordered both from Amazon last week. Very pretty. Oh. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Wendy, because I was about to put up the links. To the Amazon link. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amazon and also uh, for <laughs> where international folks can get Excuse it. Me. Actually, that's the first link. So let's let me pop that in the room and follow these links if you if you're interested in the calendar. And if you buy one and then win one, you'll have two. You could give them away as gifts. You could give it away now. <laughs> give it away now. You're welcome, Kaylee. All right, and hour number three uh -huh. is our awesome, wacky, new, new spinning wheel. Oh, all right. And Wait, hour two, those of you who are local, you might know what wacky, new, new means. Did you show the pin? Sorry. Oh, show that pin. This hour number two and show the pin. All right, because you're talking three. We got little Mr. Um, pumpkin, pumpkin Spice Dragon portrait. He's cute. Woohoo! Look at him. He's adorable. Yeah, Blob. Blob knows the song. I think Blob's a California person, though. Are they more likely to be Chili Peppers fans? I don't know. I, I would assume that the Red Hot Chili Peppers 
fans a lot a lot of Californias. You know, they're all about Californication and whatnot. Oh my god! I still don't know what Californication means, but I'll tell you when you're older. Oh, okay. Veggie Mech is now following. Thank you so much, Veggie Mech. Thank you. I like veggies. <laughs> I do. I, I like veggies. Uh, I'm not gonna say where where I got the sandwich from, but I had one of the worst veggie subs I've ever had in my life. <laughs> yeah. It was... It, mine it, was even worse. Oh, yours was worse. M mine was <laughs> mine had, was only slightly better because I had mayo. mayo. But you hate mayo, but mine would be I worse to you. Mayonnaise on it. Ew. Um, no. I did what you call pork it down. So yeah. luckily we were away from the establishment. We weren't in, in the establishment. We were far away no. from the establishment when... Um, yes. So, oh, uh, it wasn't Subway. It, it wasn't, wasn't Subway. no blob. Subway is like, no, no, Subway's would be a solid. masterpiece compared to this. Yeah, no, Subway, I'll take Subway in the day. Yeah. No, it was not Subway. It was, uh, yeah, it was not good. Mm. So, um, to be fair, I think that they were a very meat, meat centric they sort were, of They were, yeah, place. it was all like meat and seafood. And their veggie stuff. was, uh, a tomato, some iceberg lettuce, iceberg lettuce uh, some green peppers. Some green peppers. Yeah. That, not cooked or anything, just like, or even sliced hardly. Yeah. <laughs> it was very strange. It didn't make any sense. But yeah, I'm not going to talk crap on them. But uh, I'm not impressed. But no, I, I actually like Subway. Yeah, I like oh, Subway. Uh, Tr Trina says, I'm so excited. This is my first time watching oh, you hi. live. Cool. Well, it's nice to have you here, Trina. Very I hope you're having an awesome Sunday. Yeah. God, I don't know what day of the week it feels like, but it doesn't feel like a Sunday. Hmm. I don't know. It's. It, I'm looking. I have a not a decent view, but I can see into the our uh, little courtyard there, and it looks beautiful outside. It was raining like a minute ago. It's got that. <laughs> Florida looks really pretty after a rain, though. It does. It smells pretty. I ordered last weekly sale painting. Now, um, now I like the new one. Awesome, TBSN. Uh, uh, uh. Yay! That's good to know. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that uh, there. Are, uh, you know, we try to theme them. If there's a, we try to make the ones lately be Halloweeny. We had, last week we had out trick or treating. This week we yeah, have faces of fairy one fourteen. We just got a little kitty. Oh, I've got my little Azrael. He was my little black kitty. I miss him. Yeah, he was a very special kitty to us. Uh, yeah, that was Jasmine's, um, Jasmine and my first kitty together. Yeah. Our first pet together was a a hedgehog. A hedgehog, yeah. And his name was Reznor, <laughs> named after uh, Trent musician Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. Are we kept in suspense for the new pin announcement? Oh yeah. You know like, what? I really. printed I out can... something for I you, know. Jasmine. This say, okay. This is gonna out. rock. <laughs> like the most complicated pin i've like ever made but i don't know why i love I'm like, it oh i'm gonna make it really complicated but it is green mermaid triplets this will be the pin of the month for um next month which is november i love it Woo! and it, it's one pin three little girls so the outline of the pin is really complicated it's got all these weird little back cutouts and undercuts and stuff and we're doing a special... Oh, people are liking it yeah, in the room, it's, Jasmine. It's going to be so yes. cute. Yes, this this could be... If it tur if it yeah, turns out... A, it's a, a, going to be pretty impressive. Okay, I I, it, it could be yeah. my favorite one. Because uh, I remember this painting... This painting um was... I remember when you saw it, and I, it, gosh... I, like, mm -hmm. called it cutest painting ever or something. Because mm -hmm. you wanted to give it... <laughs> I loved this one a lot. And it's oh. one that sticks with me. There's a few that, that are older that stick with me, especially... Uh -huh. I don't know why. Huh. So I think it's the cute little side look on the front one space. Uh, I'm trying to remember what she yeah. looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's not like looking at the viewer really. She's kind of looking off. You do that side. yourself. I, I think do? it reminds me of you a bit. Yeah, I don't. I, I save eye contact for special looking. But yeah, things. I think it's sweet. So I'm excited about that one. That one should be a lot of fun. And with that, next month, um, if you are a, a new... Uh, uh, new to the uh, pin 
uh, tier on Patreon, you'll also get the uh, oh, the yeah. new exclusive, yeah, uh, which so many of you probably ha- are getting right now. Yeah, you guys might be getting there's in the mail. Like, right. Is that showing up on the thing? Oh. I think so. Uh, yeah, you're... I can see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's my... So, so many of you are getting that right now. Yeah. Um, Jasmine, someone asked if it will have glitter. Which one? The newest pin. No. (laughs) (laughs) No, not not this one at least. I can... I will keep the mold on it though, so it might be one that I, um... I could see you doing variations of it. I could do different Purple one. I could do purples. I could do like a rainbow one. So cute. I could could do a glitter one. I could do a glow-in-the-dark one. That's part, part of the fun of when I do a whole new mold and I actually do get it all cast and everything then i can use that in the future if i do want to do different colors so i am calling it green mermaid triplets because that's the name of the paint and then it's based off of jasmine did you hear the did you hear the sound (laughs) that beeping sound is my pizza okay uh jasmine did you want to take a i'll take a very quick break i have a okay jasmine's (laughs) cooking a little pizza sorry um i'll be right back a nice oven cooked pizza None of that microwave for you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a little break and uh, we'll see you guys in like five. Oh wait, is it quicker than five? I'm gonna put on a little break.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. It took longer to cook than I thought it was going to. I was going to try to have it before. the pizza break. Yeah. I'm having a lovely Sunday, Millie. I am. It was painting. And thank you. That's a sweet thing to say. She she hopes that everyone's having a lovely Sunday. Me too. That's a good thing to wish for people. Me too. Yeah. Today's not a bad day. Hey, Hi. Bianca, how's it going? Hi, Bianca. Nice to see you here. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. Yeah. It's so, sunny out now. I know. That's what I was saying. It's it's really it's pretty here. back there. Yeah. I like see little shafts of light. It's, yeah, it's lovely. It's kind of lovely. I think it's awesome. So uh, Jasmine and I have been watching more of The Vow. I think that we have uh, one episode that we... Are we caught up? We have one episode we haven't seen. So are, how many are out? Is there, like, there are eight is out there eight that out? I know of. Um, another one could have come out. But we haven't okay. seen uh, episode eight. Okay. So, uh, and yeah. I think uh, Katie, who's often in this group, said uh, on Facebook that that eight was like crazy. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh. I'm. It's How many other? to be in this series. Is you it know, a, I, I, series I didn't it? look it up. Sometimes I look at IMDb and I just mm. see the list for the how long is supposed to be in the in the like first the uh, episode guide series. thingy on IMDb? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll usually tell you how many and if it it may not have any info. I don't mm. like too many spoilers, so I don't look too far ahead, but yeah. It's weird. It's it's funny to use the term spoilers when you're talking about a, a non-fiction Something show that happened. Like that. Huh? Well, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a docudrama. So I, I, it's true. It, it does they really, have that veneer of like yeah. reality TV slapped on it. Oh, Leela's waiting for some boots. Oh, Me yeah. and I, Le I, I'll be happy if my boots arrive tomorrow. We, it's so funny how <laughs> right now that's that's the way you might get shoes. What, you know, mail? instead of go to the store, you just have to like we have. To, I have to. I'm <laughs> extra careful about like sizing charts. Yeah. And things like that. And I'm I'm built, you know, I'm not built like every other guy, so I have to look at different sizing charts, and everybody's kind of... So I've gotten used to that if I want to buy okay. a shirt. Or what I'll do is I'll look at a company and look at see if they have a lot of shirts. I like t-shirts, guys. You probably know that. You probably see me wear a lot of silly shirts and whatnot if you see us at cons. Okay. And I'll sometimes buy one test shirt from a company, mm -hmm. and if it doesn't fit me right... I'll just kind of, that'll be a junky work outside pulling weed shirt. Um, when I, I, I take over and use it for gym jams or something. Yeah. So the paint, what, Jasmine, what painting are you working on right now? People are asking in oh, the room. This painting, it's a, it's a giant ass painting. Um, it's, it's a giant? It's a, it's a bit, no, the painting. Is, oh, okay. So actually the, the person in it, it's quite big. She's bigger than, uh, than I am. Yeah. <laughs> like it's larger than life sized. Like, if I look at her hand, it's smaller than, or it's bigger than my hand. But, um, it is called The Rites of Spring, like the, uh, Skrovinsky music piece. It's, um, going to be part of my solo show at the Corey Helfer Gallery, which has been moved, by the way. I, you guys probably remember I've been talking about my upcoming solo show in California at the Corey Helfer Gallery in Los Angeles. And I wasn't sure the date's been moved a few times, obviously, because of COVID pandemic and all that stuff. So right now we're looking at the end of 2021 or possibly the beginning of 2022. Don't get mad at me. It, it seems like a very long time from now. But that's what this painting is going to be for. And it's got a lot going on on it. Um, like I, I was saying earlier, I did not necessarily mean to be working on this easel with this painting as opposed to my big easel. So probably by next week or next time I be, I'm, I'll be working on this painting, I'll put it over there so I can show the camera a little bit better because there's a lot happening in here. There's probably a dozen different figures in this piece. Um, is, hey, is this working? Uh, it looks frozen. Okay, I'll fix it. Well, anyways, it's a huge painting. It's it's not super wide. It's only a couple feet wide, but it's 48 inches tall. So for me, that's pretty big. So I can't really quite reach up at the top and the bottom at the same time. So I'm just kind of working on... I've transferred the sketch over, and I had to do that and lay out a bunch of pieces of paper on top and trace on top of a piece of carbon paper because it was a small sketch, and I wanted to make sure it was the same proportions when I put it up on the big 
piece of wood that it's on you. Know. And yeah. Oh, Kieran's been watching a lot of Disney Plus. Huh? He's been uh, Kieran's been watching a lot of Disney Plus. Oh, the TV the um mm -hmm. TV thingy. Yeah, That's I I think uh yeah yeah uh I think they're great. I like the old old Disney stuff, and there's a lot up there. It's really good for oh, that. Oh, like the old old cartoons mm -hmm. and stuff. It's also good. Sometimes Jasmine, um, it helps Jasmine to yeah. have that because she needs to use that for uh, reference. It's true when I do work for Disney. Sometimes it's like, hey, I'm just gonna find pull a screenshot and look at that's the approved background colors because that's what's in the movie. You know that sort of thing. Well, Leela's new boots are Jack Skellington boots, cool. the black and red. And um, hey, Leela, you got to show them off for me next time. Uh, next time we see each other, hopefully we'll see each other Sheesh. next year. I know. I'm really looking forward. I just want. You know, we should be. I just want a chip. English. I just want an English chip. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to think. We should. Usually, if this was a regular year and things weren't stupid. We would be in England now, wouldn't we be? Uh, we often are for a while. Because uh, it would be around, for, uh, with Karen and uh, like at uh, the ferry or at, Whitby. Uh, Glastonbury. We, we've yeah. been in Whitby uh, around then, and then we would and, be in Whitby at the Gatwick right. Gun. So around yeah, this we around this we're time, we're always around Halloween. It seems like we're ever sometimes ever. we hit both. Yeah, so sometimes yeah, we hit both, and that's, that's a mean. that's a fun time. And Paul gets sick yeah. of seeing us. <laughs> huh? Uh, maybe Paul, Paul gets, gets sick of seeing us. Yeah. Yeah, here on uh, Strange in UK, guys. Yeah. Uh, Jane says, I'm a new follower, just waiting for oh. Amazon to bring me a copy of Forever Strange. Should be any minute. Oh my gosh. Ooh, love cool. Jasmine's work. Well, if you get that, Jane, you get during the broadcast, let, let us know what you think. Yeah. I'm very proud of that one. That, that Aw, thank so you, well. Leela. You're a sweetie. Does anyone know how to give bits? You know, Grinchy, I, um, I, I have no pe problem. people in the room probably know better than I do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, last time we were just, we were making jokes about bits. Uh, feel free to give us your bits if you like. Uh, they're your bits to give. So we'll accept the bits. They're kind of like, I don't know, like manna from heaven. Hmm. Little, little bits. Oh, Magus or Magus, I'm not sure how they want to pronounce it, says, mm -hmm. hi everyone, hope you're having a all having a lovely day. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Hey, how's it going? Ooh, cashews also. Yes, Leela. We love our cashews. Lately, um, I've been on a... I've been all about figs and dates. <laughs> figs and dates. You know what? I, and too. peanut I've butter. Been Still on the peanut butter. I've a bunch of dried fruit lately. I don't know yeah, I'm and apples. Well, you're always eating apples and peanut butter. I am. I remember... A, yeah, I'm sorry, Tammy. It's, I know it's, it's supposed to be colder. I think it's going to warm up for you guys, though. In Kansas City? Uh, yeah. Is that, that yeah, Tammy's up in uh, KC oh, okay. area right now. I'm pretty sure. Grinchy says, have 300 to give Jasmine. Okay, uh, sure, uh, Grinchy. If you if you can figure out how to deliver those those bits to us. I think that there's a little... <laughs> I, have, I really don't know. Okay, get bits. I'm trying to... Next badge unlocks one bits. Cheer anonymously. I don't even... I don't understand what's going on. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I wish I... How do I cheer? Okay, now I got this whole sub screen that popped up. Go away. All right. Go away, Nick. Cashew trivia. The shells are poisonous. The shells are poisonous. Yes. Very good, MK. Is it? Jasmine's... Yeah, the shells are poisonous. Uh, the outside, the vine type things that hold the shells are poisonous. If you ever look at the fruit that is a cashew is from, it's very odd. I remember going to... um. Belize. Remember they had that stuff, they call it cashew wine. It's not really wine. It's like a super, It was interesting. Super strong liqueur. Yeah, thing. it was interesting. Yeah. I, uh, that's all I'll say about it. <laughs> it's that little chevron symbol next to the sticker button. It is, but I clicked on it and that then it, it got weird. So oh, Are you talking about Yeah, the bits. Oh. How like yeah. yeah. And if I'm not gonna know, Jasmine's definitely not gonna know. Hmm? Um Jasmine hmm. is a a she is the person that reminds me of, oh, that plant's poisonous. Don't eat that plant. Like I'm just going to run in the forest and nom, 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 nom. That's because I kind of, I tend to do that. <laughs> oh, I've, I don't. Well, oh, thank I don't you, Tammy. Sheila, my next door neighbor, she died because she was eating berries out of the she, damn She did. Park. She was, she was not well, though. <laughs> yeah, she was. 
Grappa. Kind of crazy, but yeah, huh? Um, I don't but think it, I don't it. think it's the same thing. Is is Grappa the same thing as cashew wine? No, Grappa is a um, distillation of a liqueur that is actually made out of grapes, I believe, kind of like wine, but it's been distilled a million times till it turns into that weird. Isn't Grappa sweet? It's it kind of reminds me of Aquavit with brandy in it. Uh, oh, Aquavit. Uh, Gosh, I haven't <laughs> had that forever. Yeah, if uh, yeah, if I drink like six wine. But yes, uh, grappa. I just like the word grappa. It yeah, those like are cute unicorns. So Tammy put up the, these What's bits, that? and they're all unicorns. There's, imagine a heart, if you would. Oh, yeah. That's kind of rainbow pastel mm -hmm. and then a, it's animated, and then a cute little uh, unicorn pops its head out of the heart and says hello. Hi. And. Uh, at first, I thought it was a cobra. <laughs> so I like suck. A, a rainbow unicorn. Grape stems and refuse. Yeah, it's like, like the, the method of making cashew wine is similar. I'm thinking. It's the oh, leftover okay. icky bits. That's the, it's like they just want to break it down into its alchemical components of. Very cool. Alcohol. I know a little bit about wine, but I don't know a lot about its strange variations. It's like a variant this month. <laughs> a variation on wine. Cashew wine. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Uh, as far as Skyrim goes, uh, I have been We're playing. I, yeah, I think that I'm. I seem very powerful. I think I've. I, what I did is I I got my smith skill up and I made really good armor, and I go around and I'm I can beat up most bad guys pretty easily. But um, or I'm just getting better at the game. Not sure. That could be. Um, I'm really fantastic at sneak, and I just come up behind guys and just assassinate them. So, Noble Rot, ultra sweet dessert wine. Interesting. Yeah. That's, that's kind of like, um, that's a, almost like a variant of ice wine, baby, because it's like after I was going to say ice has, wine is, ice wine is fan yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's frozen, and it's almost like begun to decay, and it's the sugar has turned crystalline, and yeah. then it's, it feeds the yeast extra or whatever, so it makes it, I remember it I, makes I, it a higher octane. I was very impressed with, uh, ice wine, so I, I had bought your father some. Yeah. Because he didn't know about it. Yeah. And he likes wine. Very he, much so. He makes a lot of wine. He does. And distills a lot of. Yeah, sometimes he'll just a lot of strange liqueurs. He'll just you know hand me a, a thing in a in an old bo Evian <laughs> bottle water. It's like here, have this, Matt. And like, I don't know. Oh, just drink it. Bottle. Drink your father-in-law's moonshine. It's yeah. really flammable. Oh, so yeah. I'm I'm slowly losing my my sight. <laughs> um. Oh, you know. But yeah, cool. who needs who needs eyeballs? But yeah, we've got 20 minutes to the raffle. Oh. And, and the first one is the um, miniature wall calendar and the print of the week. In the print of the week. Basically Thank you so much, Laura. Laura gave us 300 that, bits. That's so is that cool. What that sparkly noise was? Yes. Ooh, thank you. Neato. Thank you. And Tammy gave us some ones that look like gravestones. Cool. Like Halloween's Halloween. coming up, guys. It is, man. It do. Cloudberry liquor. Or like liqueur, maybe? I had some from Finland, and it's amazing. Oh, Finland. Okay. Huh. Cloudberries. What is... I'm trying to remember what country it is that has that salamander liqueur. Oh. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> it's it's, it's like, made out of salamanders? It has... You, a salamander oh. is in it for a while. I don't think you even have to kill the salamander. I think I, I would never, ever, ever hurt a salamander. I love them, but um, it's it's like you know how we were talking about the frogs that we'd see in Costa Rica that are um, poison arrow frogs. Yeah, there are. There's a type of salamander. I think it's Ukraine. I think it's Ukraine. But and there's a salamander, and they put it in some sort of moonshine liqueur and let them flop around in it. Latvia has, has uh, yeah, and it has mildly hallucinogenic properties i think the salamander does kind of like how toads and frogs sometimes do i think it's from latveria <laughs> <laughs> real quick what is latveria Doctor. the first person who oh. an uh, the first person Can who I answers answer? um i don't know gets a virtual hug for me the dr doom's fake well, country oh wait I, you get a virtual hug for me jasmine <gasps> i get a virtual hug okay well you can email to me yeah 
Nah. Sorry. I didn't know. You need to tell me if I'm not allowed. <laughs> no, you're you're yet. always loud. I don't care. Thanks. Thank you so much, uh, Jeanette. We've got oh. 201 <gasps> bits. That's awesome. Woohoo. And those are like a penny each, right? Something like that. Yeah. I guess we eventually get it somehow. Twitch sends me money like from on yeah, I know. I, I looked at it, it one month really and I was like, It's random That's... amounts, just like every drips and drabs. I don't but really it, get it. But... It was nice. Yeah. Paid, paid the utility. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did My so guy is showing me how whoever, to send things. Whoever does that, cool. whoever's hell, whoever it pays me, thank you. Nothing I can say can take Jeanette's away from her guy. Really? Uh, probably. He's a, he's a swell guy. Which Jeanette? So. Um, our friend... Uh, uh, Jeanette, she's an American, American and that lives in the UK. Oh, okay. Yes. With, with her Sorry. hubby, and they come to yeah, yeah, the yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Sorry, I, I, have, I know a couple of Jeanettes. The Rossins. Yes. Nothing you can say can take me away from my guy. Tell me more. You're going to get me booted off for copyright infringement. <laughs> Probably. <love. laughs> huh? Probably. Yeah. Thank you for helping me in the room. Oh, oh, the the room. It's uh, yeah. I, I don't think I helped you at all, Grinchy. I kind of, I kind of suck sometimes when it comes to uh, Twitch advice. Mostly, I'm just here to goof off yeah. and press some buttons. Uh huh. He, he does that. That, it makes that sort annoying. of thing. Uh huh. Tell me more. Oh, speaking of the mini paintings, it, oh. it might actually be like next friday before i or or maybe next weekend before i i get all those scanned in and everything okay because i want to um there's a few i want to have a, all of them finished and then scan them all and then title them and varnish them all at once and stuff so so don't don't worry i have not forgotten we have gotten a lot of people email us we don't reserve those ahead of time but we will let you guys know at patreon soon i promise 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 have you tried uh apple pie bailey's jasmine no, I don't have I don't think I have. That, that sounds... Uh-uh. Uh, uh, I had apple pie. What was that stuff? It's those little jars that I make... I use for my paint. These things. They're oh, like the, tiny, the moonshine? Yeah, they're like those tiny little mason jars I use yeah. to, to mix paint in. <laughs> but that, remember well, that, 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 that was apple pie flavor. Yes, and that, that is a very... Those are... Uh, <laughs> Those are potent. Those are, strong, I, those are special man. occasion things. Yeah, I, I could not drink those yeah. more than once every couple months or something because they, yeah, they're good though. Nebula Blast is now following. Thank you so much, Nebula. Thank you, Nebula. I wonder if it's the one from from the Avengers. <laughs> I was gonna say. Amy Pond. Hey, Vampy, how's it going? How's your day going? I hope life's treating you well. And if it's not, we'll just grab it together by the throat. But apple pie Bailey's, that sounds good and yeah, fattening. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's Bailey's yeah. Bailey's um, is so it's so yummy. It's like it's like the creme de la creme. What what is Bailey's? Bailey's. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. so good, but it's so like you know, it's got like eight million calories per it tablespoon. Does. I remember I figured out it had eight hundred calories per um eight ounce cup. Oh. Well, I remember I was trying to gain weight for a while and I was like, hey, you know, if I drink one cup of Bailey's, <laughs> it has eight hundred calories. Do not follow Jasmine for diet advice. <gasps> oh, Do not follow God. Jasmine well, for it's diet advice. Sugar mixed with heavy cream and whiskey. I mean Has it been asked, will you be attending it. Megacon in March? I think, Tammy, sure, yeah. if everything is good, if Megacon's actually happening, I think that we, I yeah. think that we should be able to, to do that. Yeah, I'll um, it. it's yeah, it's it's not up to us if Megacon decides to happen or not. But right. yeah, if they have Megacon, I'll go there. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. I haven't been anywhere. I think I think yeah I think you'd be good to go, Jasmine. We'd have to check on them. I know I have. To, um, yeah. at, at any rate, uh, I, I would at the least I think I I could be there. Mask and stuff. Yeah, um, my arm. And be uh, there. Yeah, I Jasmine. I could show up um, for like an hour and wear a hazmat suit or something. I'm tired of being inside. <laughs> no, yeah, no, really. Come on. No, I I, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. <clears throat> I hear you. 
And now my computer is going in and out. I roll. My computer? No, uh, Tammy says. Oh, I thought you were talking about my butt. No. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, uh, G-Y in there. G, like engineer, kind of. <laughs> oh, is that, uh. 100 bits. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Fingers and toes crossed that you guys will be in the UK sometime next year. We'd love that. Yes. I'm gonna be. I have to declare a silo. <laughs> okay, and Brandon just sent me a message and said, uh -oh. hey, his next semester is online. Is it really? Yeah, so uh, if Megacon happens, he'd be able to help us out. Oh, okay, cool. So, cool. yeah. God, so... They're Working with these college kids, too, I'm telling you. Yeah. Their schedules. Thank you so much. A thousand bits. Wow. That's that's, that's, a, that's spending just money. Around, folding money. Man. Okay. You know, we, I'm going to retire now. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn the um, retire to Florida. Turn the uh, broadcast off. I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Peace. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to go with my, my thousand head. bits and buy a top Taco Bell. Ooh. Ooh. Clams. Hi, pipe, pipe. Here, I, I, I gotta press a button for people that, you know, I need to press buttons for bits or something. Yeah, you should make a, man, a button that's like. Woo, 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 I'll just here. I'll do something. Like how, like, I'll do that in the meantime. Or, uh, sorry. Keep cussing. Oh. What do you? What were you gonna say? I accidentally cussed. I didn't mean to. <gasps> I, I wasn't even mad. About it. Don't spend them all in one place. Hey, I, don't I, I am. You know, we I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, yeah. you know, I'm not the, the brightest guy, but I can stretch ten dollars really well. So can I? Actually, I'm pretty bright, but I'm yeah, trying to be I, humble. I remember when, yeah, I, I can make money go really far. When Jasmine I and I used to like we we'd work the Aldi's angle. We'd yeah, have remember we could, when we were first together. We I had eighty dollars a month for groceries, and <laughs> I we ate well. <laughs> yes, it was it was pretty awesome. Yeah. We're, buy we're tacos. Vegetarians, yeah. Why would I want to buy? I don't even like tacos. Yeah, I hate tacos. I don't like tacos. Well, you were just talking about taco tacos. Tacos. Like a minute ago. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I said I was going to Taco Bell. Oh. They do sell other things than tacos. Taco Bell. It's not a fun place to go. I love all these too, MK. <laughs> it's not a fun place to go to. All these are Taco Bell. Taco Bell. And Taco Bell's weird because if you go through their drive through they have one one menu and they have another menu on their uh, uh I'm I'm gonna pick it up through the drive through. Oh on their uh, app, app thingy? Yeah. And they will not Okay, so there was one item I wanted mm -hmm. and I asked for it because I was looking at the app before I, I left for Taco Bell. Yeah. And I said, can I have a such and such whatever? And they said, uh, we don't have those available. And I said, but I, I saw it on the app. Yeah. And they said, okay, you can order that, but you have to order it on the app and then stand and then wait in line. Are you kidding me? Like they made you order it on the app and then like uh, while you're Well, I didn't do that. I ordered something else, but they would have. Yes, that's the only way I could get it. Yeah, no more potatoes. I uh, I know that. Uh, oh man, that ooh. made me so mad. That's yeah. like the default. If you don't eat meat and you go to Taco Bell, you're like, you want like potatoes. Yes, on it. basically, Jasmine's. It's like meat for Jasmine has. It's if we potato. do go to Taco Bell, Jasmine has two requests. <laughs> one is add potatoes. The other one is get a bunch of hot sauce. Yeah. Yes. They took this yeah, my Taco Bell experience is usually a bunch of potatoes with a bunch of hot sauce. So it's like if they if they got rid of the potatoes, I mean, yeah, no why, cheesy potato burrito thingy thing. So I don't know potato famine. Not sure what's going on. That's cool. Whatever, we'll take it. Beans instead of meat. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, it, they're they're actually really good at subbing that. Potatoes and Mexican food is really good. It it do it do. Like or, or if it's vegan or something, you don't even have cheese, but you put a bunch of fried potatoes on it. That's just great. We got like ten minutes to raffle. Oh, okay, cool. Glad to be able to cook. Yeah, we um, yeah. I I, I don't like cooking. That's I all. love cooking. Jasmine likes to cook. I like these little meals that we get sometimes yeah. that are 
Oh, the, like the, the... The Daily Harvest Daily ones? Harvest. Yeah, those are great. Well, those are easy to cut, because they already just... They already come in the thing. Hey, man, are the cats just being... Oh, they're just sleeping. They are being so... Okay, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring Jasmine a cat. I wanna bring you sunshine. Oh god. Okay, sunshine's fine. Man, I, I I can totally sneak up on these cats. I don't even know. They're they're all they're doing is laying around today. Okay. They need to do their job because there was a cockroach and they didn't eat it. Ow! Was it one oh. of that big gross It was a big gross one, like a big flying one from outside. Here. My sunshine. Oh, she's asleep. Eat. Be sure to eat your roaches. Cockroaches. Uh, Ow, ow, god, she's he's gonna hurt me. Sunshine. <laughs> Her claws like in my altar top. No. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Oh, she got me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouchie. That's okay. I got plenty of skin. <sighs> yeah, she is. She. Is. Oh, she. <laughs> Ah, sunshine, you horrible creature. Oh, she's staying with me. Oh, oh she she's here. like licking her chest. She's like, I just woke up. She Screw you guys. Like, Why am I on camera? Well, but stupid. It's like I woke up at like four today, and they, they were all over me wanting treats. So I came down and got them treats, and I'd forgotten that I'd left that one thing of treats upstairs. So I had to go under the stairs. These and cats find and the treats. treats, and I didn't have Jerks. my contacts in, so I was like, oh, trying to find them. <laughs> It's horrible. <laughs> and then Rio tried to kill me on the stairs. She'll do that. I know. She yeah. really does. It's like, I can't... And she's not going to get any more treats if she kills me. Oh, she's killed me a couple times, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm Maddie Part 3. She took your soul. She, she did take... She's given it back. Though. Yeah, I know. She finally gave it back. Do you want you want the gammy? Sure. Okay, well, so we'll see if we can get feel the... feel like almost live dying. <laughs> Almost it's the best part of living. I want to see if I can do her trick. Huh? Which one? Oh. Are you bringing her in? Oh my god! With a little lion head. Oh, oh, oh! Did you put it on her? Oh my god! I can't believe you did that by yourself, dude. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, oh. <laughs> You put your lion head on and you like it. Yeah, she's, she's, you? <laughs> she's a baby. She's a baby. She's cute. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, uh, don't you step on my feet. Oh, he's a baby. Why are you so cozy? <laughs> Now run around crazily backwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man, let's see. How close are we to the uh, raffle? Six minutes. Okay, cool. <laughs> we had a mohawk for the coconut clean kitties. <laughs> for the what? The coconut clean kitty. Oh. Too fun. What's a coconut clean cake? I don't know, but I want one. <laughs> oh. It's like we, we just have filthy pineapple kitties here. <laughs> we have, yeah, a we have gross pineapple cake. cats. Huh? Where'd you put your hat? <laughs> nasty, nasty creature. It's probably on the ground. I oh, the, the, was biting uh, it. Timmy's, they're soap company. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> oh. Yes, we we have got just a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. And Jasmine, can you show people that uh, that uh, print again? Yeah. Let's talk about Earth. Wait, Earth. Yes. Face is a fairy 114 with a scary black kitty cat based off of my own little Azrael baby. Who is a kitty we had a while ago. He's not one that can visit us right now. 
be all pet cemetery if he did. Oh, he would. He would be too. He was a little devil. He'd cat. still love me. I've, of course, my little thing. I miss him. Every I, day. I couldn't see him having malevolence yeah. towards towards me. He loved oh, me. No. He loved me so all the he way to the end. A, he was a little dear. He was precious. Very precious to me. He just looked like a little demon cat. Oh yeah, he's a little black panther. He was. He thought he was a little panther too. He, he, was, he was, and he has the been the wimpiest of all our cats. <laughs> And he's the only he was, boy he's, kitty we've had. He's one of the, is he the only male? He's the only boy kitty we've had. Yes. And he was the wimpiest little mewy little Meow. baby kitten of a thing. Oh. Oh, baby. I miss him. And got stuck inside that piano. Yeah. And he was a kitten. <gasps> yes. Like a, a cat's inside the piano. Yes, when he was a baby. We were like, where the hell is Azrael? We couldn't find him, and he was inside a piano. I'd like yeah. to the antique. Like, oh, oh shit. My lights. Sorry. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I had to. Anyways, and when he was a baby kitten, he somehow got stuck inside the piano. And we could hear him meowing. Yeah. He uh. He got he, stuck in the wall one time. Too. Yes. It was yes, like because the the, the house, hideous house. We were like squatting. Uh, we weren't <laughs> squatting. <laughs> okay. It just felt like it. Hey, we were playing EverQuest though. Word. That's Power true. of the kitty when you mock them. Be careful. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe so. Maybe it's because I mock them all this uh, all the time. We do mock our cats a lot. Well, they mock us. Oh, yeah. Mocktober. Huh? Oh. Is your... Is... Are you frozen? Oh, man. Is it again? Yep. Why does it flip and keep I don't know. That? Is the one with the picture of me on it going? Or yeah. Oh. That one's good. All right. Wonder Twin pa Powers deactivate. Pardon? That just says deactivate. You're choosing now to activate our Wonder Twin power? God, I don't want to be a Wonder Twin with you. No, baby, Jesus. No, I'm a I'm a Gemini. I get to be my own Wonder Jesus. Twin. Is this the assholes who are always like turning into buckets of water? Or is that a different one? Oh, sorry. Wow. Is that cussing? Sure. Okay. About grass hole. <laughs> grass hole. Yeah, I'm in a mood today. My dog is up to two art pieces a week. Like his diet depends on them. He has learned to climb counters now. Cool. Yeah. He eats the art pieces. That doesn't sound like a good thing to eat. That's an expensive. Can, make, can you make it so the screen shows up, please? Oh, you bet. Thank you. That one a little bit freezes again. If it shows. The there thing. you go, Linstead Market. Thing. Is it like the song? Yes, the song that no one knows that we sung in elementary school. And I, I, I still. Is, is that a Jamaican song? I don't know. Oh. Everybody come to Linstead Market, not a quaddy worth sell. No, what not a mite, not a bite, not a quaddy worth sell. Not What's that? What is that song? I don't know. I don't know, but I, oh, okay. I sing it a lot. Oh, that's probably not... what I know it from. Yeah. I just come out of the bathroom. Everybody come to Linstead Market. Not a quality would sell. Yeah. That's, I do stuff like that all the time. Probably, I I mean, I think it would entertain me. But I don't know about other people. But the thing is, I, I sometimes things, think that it's for me. Of course. It's not for other people. It's for me to laugh. So, Oh, my kitten was stuck. Uh, M-E. My enjoyment. My enjoyment. MK Hicks says, my kitten was stuck between the screen door and the main oh, door no, no, when no. someone came in. It took us a minute to figure out where, where he was meowing. Oh, oh, that's sad. We got just a couple seconds, and then it will be time to pick the first raffle. You guys excited? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. There it is. Mm. Let me first go, like, pick a winner. Okay. And I'll win a the sign friend of the week and also dr disney dr disney dr disney like something before or is that some other disney they person? are they have been in the room for a couple weeks now oh cool so well, awesome thank you. thank you for coming back every week yes it's worth your while i Look will put the, the instructions uh, the miniature um 20 
21 wall calendar. Very cool. All the pictures and that. And just follow and these I'll instructions. And autograph it too. I'll mail it. To, I'll autograph it and mail it to you and all that. So. There we go. Congratulations, Doctor Disney. Congratulations. And then the um. The and then I will start the. Next next raffle start the yeah, next raffle i'm gonna go ahead and start that the big calendar and i'm starting okay. that now all right guys okay yeah and they'll get big calendar Ooh, big calendar and what's the other th oh the pin pumpkin <laughs> spice dragon portrait pin and a wall calendar Ooh. and a big wall calendar Wee -hee. and i'll autograph the calendar and i'll autograph Yay. the little um pin back thingy Hey, that's something that we need to get up on the website too, Maddie. To remember, we're going to have the pinbacks for people. We're talking. Yeah. Yeah. There's them. a lot. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Man. It is a busy year, isn't it? Sort of. Sort of not. It is. It is busy. That's. It's good, though. It's good to be <laughs> it busy. We good. have more things than we're able to do, which is better than having not, not enough, enough to do at all. It's very true. Well, thank it's you a good for the way bits. To be really right now. I'm loving it. We get bits. <laughs> Protect your bits. Sorry. <laughs> Protect your tings. Oh. But yes, uh, the, in an hour we'll have that raffle for the newest pin and the wall calendar, as Jasmine said. And you, you can uh, then you'll know what day of the week June 21st is. Yeah. What, what is it? I don't That's, know. It's not like you. It's not like your phone could help you with that. It's no, not like a computer would help you with that. You need something I should have, like, hard three, and static. I should go in with a sharpie and go on the Sundays and write 3 p.m. Eastern Time Twitch on the yeah. calendar. Oh, that would be a dick move, kind of. Though. It would be. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if we like changed it and started doing it on Tuesdays or something. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday. Could. Well, I, I do crowdcasts and stuff on other days sometimes. We could. Mm. Well, Jasmine, uh, did, did you want to, uh, do you want to take a quick, a quick break? To eat some more of my Eat some more of pizza. Maybe yeah, go I pee pee. Would, actually. I'm sorry. I'll just, I'll really just be a couple more. Right, this will be quick. I just okay. want, I want to make sure that Jasmine gets all her food. I don't, food. Food today. don't okay. want Jasmine to waste away. No. I'll be right back. All right.
Okay, we're back. We Jasmine back got a pizza. Pizza. Spinach artichoke. Yes. So yeah, somebody asked in, in the room if Jasmine had a a how to draw book. Well, she oh. does have a tutorial. Um. Yeah. I'm and not, I put the link in the room. Drawing, um, well, yeah, it's, yeah I, I they probably a, mean how to draw. I have a nice little this. ebook I did a few years back, just starting from cutting a piece of wood, gessoing it, um, drawing and sketching out on it, then transferring sketches, or, or actually I don't do a transfer on that one, I do um, outlining on top and just painting all the way through, varnishing and eventually framing. So that that shows you step by step. It's all done with one painting, so it's not like, here's how to draw a gentleman picture, but it shows the process that I work with from start to finish. And worth looking at. If you're a Patreon patron, you can see it for free. You can download it. It's an ebook PDF or you can buy it for what is it like four ninety nine? Four ninety nine. Okay, four ninety nine. If it's strangely not working for you, is that just the wind out there blowing from the? I, I think so. Okay. So, let's see. I wanted to look up what today is uh, October eighteenth. I wanted to look up and see what wacky holidays are happening today, or, or not so wacky. You know what? What well, hasn't like the last two times been some sort of pizza day and today there was the pizza day, of, day and, and today's the day i had pizza it wasn't one of the pizza days i don't think today's pizza i have heard from one source that today and it may not be up on this website and it's not mm-hmm. uh it says uh they said that it's international dragon's day oh really so i don't know how official that is ah, or if you can have an official like, day I mean, like that like the official but yay dragons, dragons. we like dragons here yes but, yeah. um yeah, I love so, dragons. So, it's Alaska Day. Oh. Alaska Day. Not I've, Alaskan I have Day. I've never been to Alaska. I haven't either, but I'd like to take a cruise up there. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, hello to any, Ala- do we have any Alaskan friends in the room? Anybody, uh, who's been to Alaska in the room? That's, that's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, state. My it looks, it's picturesque. Sonia, my website admin, got married in Alaska because I, I guess in Alaska, I, this I don't think this is an urban legend. I hope not, because I think it's how she got married. I don't know if she's We'll find out that. that she was never yeah, married. Yeah, but um, I think any one person can officiate over a wedding for any other two people, like because there aren't enough people in Alaska or something. But and anyway, so it's like they just like stood on top of a hilltop and got married, and their friend was there, and I guess it's legal. I don't know. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Kaylee's been three times. Wow. Uh, Aradovich has been to Anchorage. Oh, I think you mean Anchorage. Oh, yeah. And somebody went there on a cruise. Uh, Crispy. Crispy Critter. Went, went there on a cruise? Took a cruise to Alaska. It was beautiful. Yeah. That's, that's how I want to go there. That would be an easy way to see a uh, bunch of places at once. Alaska's so flipping. Other huge. options are walking. You know, what? I could walk. What uh, a walking! To I, I could walk. I could walk to Alaska. You could walk here. To Alaska. Yeah, I could just follow the pipeline. You could. Uh, That's what I you do. Could probably. Take the the there used to be a land bridge, I believe. I could take the land bridge <laughs> over land to, bridge uh, to Asia. Asia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm planning on it. Well, part um, of, that's my part spring. Of Russia, like the Lucian Islands, they're they're literally like five miles from Russia or something, aren't they? The Al- the Aleuts out there. The, what, what, what? Uh, in, in Alaska, isn't that just literally like five or ten miles from? Uh, oh, Russia? it's it's ridiculously close. Yeah, the land I mean, bridge is a, is a good theory. It. Huh? The land bridge is a good. Yeah, theory. yeah. I mean, despite could, what the almost, flat earthers could, might like, think. Flat, flat earth. I, I'm more of a hollow earth person than a flat earther. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm more of a whatever the earth is earther. Uh, uh, Lila says, I know that this has been asked before, but will Jasmine be doing the seventh deadly sin known as pride or vanity? Yeah. Sorry for asking, and I hate you, she uh, says. Oh. No, I'm just joking. Oh, she didn't say that. She says, sorry for asking, like Leela. I, I, <laughs> as I, I know uh, you're both very busy. <laughs> yeah, I, I will. Um, I actually um, might do it sooner rather than later because of the fact my solo show for the Corey Helford Gallery, like this one I'm doing the painting for, um, is being pushed off a bit. Um, I might have time to actually finish that series before I start in on more of the Corey Helford paintings. So that would be kind of good, Manny, if I could do that because then I could get that all wrapped up. Lovely. I'm <laughs> all for that. And y'all are going to hate me. I 
think we've already sold all the canvases for the seventh dimension. I, I could, I'm pretty sure. Even though I don't even, I didn't even start it yet. Oh, you're very welcome, Leela. But yeah, but we'll have open edition canvases and glossy paper prints and all that stuff. Uh, and we'll, we'll keep, be posted. But that, yeah, I think I will probably try to work on that sometime before my solo show. Even though I'm working on pieces for that also. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud now. I'll sort it. Cool. Yeah. Healthcare Aid Day. It's Canadian holiday. We are just talking about Canada. Oh, yeah. Um, Healthcare Aid Day. Oh, that's nice for people who are working the healthcare Canada, industry. British Columbia, Manitoba. British Columbia is lovely. Yes. So I healthcare, um, I guess that's like just people that work in healthcare. Yay. Well, uh, Canada's got very good healthcare system. Yeah, they, they're known for it. National Chocolate Cupcake Day, as if just, it's not good enough, <laughs> Cupcake Day. It's, we need our own oh, man. Chocolate Cupcake Day. When, when is Coconut Cupcake Day? That's that's something I could get behind, maybe. Yes. I like chocolate, though. I mean, cupcakes, though, I go coconut. So Lila says, I already have the other six. Oh, her, in... her collection, she's got a hole in her wall that she yeah. lights a candle to every night that, that's for vanity. That's a good one. <laughs> I, it's one of the, you know that one seems less sinful, sort of vanity. Well, not vanity. Well, I guess vanity, it's it's the state of things. It used to the be. Same thing. Yeah, it, the thing is, the thing is with pride. The, the the problem with it depends where you want to go with it. If you want to call it pride, that's okay. But people take pride in their pride. Well, Va- I know, vanity I know is almost all. Right. I, I think of pride. I think of it as a positive thing. You think like right. parades and rainbows and happy things and stuff. But or. But People flaunt think, their vanity as well. They but, like to be vain. It's like a fun thing. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's a fine line between vanity and just self-esteem. <laughs> but then you could look at pride and say it's like some like a hate group sort of thing. Well, it's not like, like we made these things up. Or, you know, or I, if it's, uh, it's real. Know. Uh, TBSN says, lust is the most amazing art piece, Jasmine. Thank you. I that's love that one, one too. one of my favorite ones I think I've painted. I have the devil up with him at the moment. You know, oh, Leela, the I devil, too, the dude. devil kind of presides over that, doesn't he? Or doesn't she, rather? What's that? Oh, the, the devil, devil kind of presides yeah, over that, that, that seven one, deadly. That one kind of goes with that series. It do, you know, that kind of makes sense. It does. And if you look at it, she's um, visually, she's got like that kind of circle halo thing that looks like it's made of like oh, yeah. cast iron or something. Or yeah. Iron. And that kind of fits with the other pieces that are in that I, I call them spell left, effects. Though. Yes, the look, spell the, effects. Yeah, yeah. you Looks can like, hear summoning spell in Final Fantasy. Or yes. Uh, yeah. So Vampy says, "I really love this new painting okay. you're doing right now." Thank what you. gallery is this one going to? This one is going to the Corey Helfer Gallery in yes. Los Angeles, and and Jasmine, you, you're in the midst of a show right now at uh, the Race Gallery, right? I yeah. Um, I my piece I did. Hey, I've got that printed out actually. Ode to Heed. Ode to Heed. And I thought it was really cool they, they put it up on the, their sold thing on their website. And yeah, stuff, and but... Christie's was bragging about it. And Forbes <laughs> Magazine. I'm, Forbes, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fancy, man. I'm so, I'm so fancy. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's Jasmine's Anyways, this is just obviously a not joking it. vanity I, I, I showing painted, through. I painted, if you go back a couple of weeks, you could see me painted it up here. But here's what it looked like. Um, somebody bought the original, of course, at the show. It was for the um, American uh, Bird Conservancy at the Rays Gallery, R-E-H-S Gallery in Manhattan, just right off Central Park here in New York. They are letting people in on an RSVP basis. It's socially distanced, wear masks and all that, and you can... See my picture there, and the and did other it, and wonderful, it sold? wonderful artist. What's up? And it's absolutely sold, huh? Oh yes, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah, we'll have um, prints of her though. Golly, probably within the next week or so. Yeah, when are we gonna have those, babe? Oh yeah, yeah. sure. Probably, yeah, because obviously. I'm, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, Buttercup. Have, have we sold the canvases on this already or not? Uh, I'd have to check on that honestly. Okay. Well, well, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> All righty. Okay. And then the last one. This is confusing, Jasmine. What what in the world does this mean, guys in the room and Jasmine? National No Beard Day. No beard? beard. Like facial oh, hair beard. for a man. Beard Day. I, I like if you don't what, have What in the world is that? I, I don't know. Like shaving? What, Anti, what is, is it anti-mammal? No I, beard day. Uh, it's anti-goat. Goats like goats have little beards. 
Uh, I don't know. Does isn't anyone it, have any be, idea what no beard day is? Isn't it supposed to be... When, what month is it where people grow mustaches for testicular cancer awareness? I think that's... Is that November? Yes, because it's November, like mustache... Yeah, November. I think. <laughs> or something. Yeah. yeah um, they have it, no shave November, but yeah, but what's no beard... I don't no know. No beard sounds like the opposite. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. You guys in your facial hair. You oh, men. men. <laughs> you men in your facial hair. I'll never understand you. I've been trying to grow a beard forever. And this so no beard day is before that. Yeah, I, uh, I I got the math on that, Kendra. I just don't understand it. Well, mm -hmm. you, you just don't is have it? Is my screen all stopped again? Yeah. I'll fix it. Thank you, baby. It's little Red Schoolhouse. Little Red Schoolhouse. I've got a bunch of flowers in here. I was planting and cleaning. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to laugh when I eventually show you this whole painting because you'll see how small an area this is of the painting. I'm going to shave my beard. There's like a lot happening in it but i i promise we i will set up the camera like better this week or something. nobody has a clue what no beard is sb sb reynolds put a link in the room but we don't have links enabled in our room because oh. people could put up funky stuff funky you know Bam. links to funky town <laughs> don't know anybody who did that so that was those were the holidays what now what hold on i'm, oh. I'm moving this real quick okay. let me see is that showing up right i can see it okay i uh, don't know if people can tell yeah it i've got a, thing, qu quite a big view there okay yep mm -hmm. i can see quite a bit of it can... all right so Another fun thing we like to look up sometimes are whose birthday is it today? Not mine. Is anybody's birthday in the room? Oh, I hope they're not spending their birthday watching. It's TV. John claude Van Damme's birthday. <gasps> oh. And Lee Harvey Oswald. And Zach. E no. What? <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. Why am I not celebrating Jean Claude Van Damme's birthday? I don't know, baby. I'm not block am I blocking I am... the camera with my head when Let... I do this, baby? Can you tell? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Am I doing it now? Yeah, I can see your face oh, a shit. little. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Jeez, sorry. Yeah, I need to do this on my other <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> it was a surprise. I didn't, I don't want to put my nose all close up on TV. <laughs> It's for men's health. Okay, so it's it's a message. The beard? It's to celebrate the clean shaven. It's for men's health, says SB Realms. Men's health, like like how we were talking about November first, fourth. Oh. Yes. Oh, much wa must watch Time Cop or Bloodsport. I love Bloodsport. <laughs> That's, I quote it so often. Yeah, you know what? We we actually talk about Jean Claude Van Damme a lot in this household. It's not. Not because of me. <laughs> What's your favorite JCVD movie, Maddie? Um, my favorite JCVD? Yeah. Up, uh, either Kickboxer or Bloodsport. Uh -huh. I'm getting a my screen's frozen uh -oh. on. Is it because on Twitter? It... I'm gonna refresh it. Um, your screen. Is it screen... my broadcast? Or is it... I I don't know. Oh. I'm just gonna refresh and see if everything's okay. Mm -hmm. It could just be my screen doing it. Mm. Yeah, it's my my computer here. Cy Cyborg is pretty good. Kickboxer is great. Um, I like it because you know Natsukao, the White Warrior. I love that. Universal Soldier is good. I like that. I like Dolph Lundgren, so that's good. But yeah, uh, Kickboxer and Bloodsport got to be my favorites of the of his. And those were his two earliest films. Maybe it came out. Was it just called JCVD and it was in French? 
Uh, it was like independent film. Yeah, that was great. Uh, it's that. uh, but Chuck Berry, who's uh, often. It's Chuck Berry's birthday. Chuck Berry's birthday. He died a couple of years I ago, know, but. I was gonna say. 2017. Not it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. yeah, and he uh, he's one of the people that helped invent rock and roll. Mm-hmm. Born in 1926, how couldn't he be, right? Wow. Let's see if I see any other ago. people. Uh, Pierre Trudeau was the 15th Prime Minister of Canada, and he died in 2000. Sounds familiar. What Trudeau's they got, dude. I don't know. Mm-mm. True dat, Trudeau. Mike Ditka, he's the football guy. I don't know football very well, but I know. Football guy. Hey, there's like Ditka. Like a football player. Or... You gotta do it in the Chicago, Chicago accent. Chicago. Ditka. Wow. The Bears sort of thing right there, with the Bears and whatnot. I've got a lot of family from Chicago. They don't talk like that. <laughs> they do when you're not looking. Really? Yes. I figured they're all just like over there. Pam like Dauber, that. who plays Mindy in Work and Mindy, yeah. if you guys remember that that show. From back in the day. Did anybody here watch Mork and Mindy at all? Mm, maybe. Yeah. I, I did it when I was a baby. I, I, so. I enjoyed it as a kid, but I think I could watch about 17 minutes of it now, and I think I'd go insane. Oh, yeah. I've, I've certainly never seen it as an adult. There's a Scottish footballer named Ethan Hamilton. Cool. I, I don't know. What, I don't know we, from why, why, from footballers. Is it, is it the birthday? Is that why we're talking It's their about? birthday. Yeah, oh, these okay. are all birthdays. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just making conversation about footballers. Yeah, people, stay tuned for more Mork and Mindy. Yeah, and um, so Mork and Mindy, if you if, have you seen it, Jasmine? I am certain I saw it at least a bit of it when I was a kid, but I don't remember anything about it. Except so, I know that it's Robin Williams, and yes. he's an alien, and he apparently is. a woman named Pam Dauber is Mindy. Yes. You just said that. Dauber. Dauber. Yeah. Sorry. It's D-A-W. It's not D-A-U. So, da Dauber. Dauber myself here. Yes. So, Pierre Trudeau was the father of our current PM, Justin Trudeau. Isn't that amazing how even though people get elected and instead of inheriting their positions, everybody's got like kids who also go on to be presidents. And eh, presidents. it's the job they know. It's and like running a business. Is, yeah. Divine right of kings. There you go. Anywho, uh, yeah. So, I'll, Mork and Mindy is a family show because Mork learns lessons. He learns oh God, what it's like to it? be. A, uh-huh. Yes, and he has. A a <laughs> person back terrible. on his planet I'm that he sorry. communes Maybe with. It's good. I haven't seen it. What is- a person on back on his planet that he <laughs> communes with at the end of each episode of Mork and Mindy, and he has kind of a heart to heart with this individual. Uh, the humans are very. The humans are slightly puzzling to Mork and his ilk. Oh. So they have uh, well, basically there's uh, there's the moral lessons at the end. Or this is why people are the way they are. So it's kind of, that part is kind of is touching. It, is it like Data in Star Trek? It's a little bit like okay. Data in Star Trek. Is it like Jeff from Today's Special? No, nothing's like that. <laughs> Sack of, ugh. Today's Special is a horrible, <laughs> a horrible of, and that was kid Canadian, show. Canadian, wasn't it? Was that Canadian? I think it is Canadian. Cause, yes, because um, uh, the lady who played Jody went on to be like a, a newscaster in Vancouver. Or something. Uh, so Today's Special features Jeff who is a mannequin that comes to life each night. This is a terrible terrible show. This is when a, this yeah. rat or a mouse Muffy. Muffy? Um, mouse. Then uh, what's her name? Jody. What's, Jody. Yes. Who's a lady that. She's the manager of the, the She manages the clothing it, department, it, the clothing department at night so they just kind of <laughs> hang out. Then there's the horrible this rat the and then and then there's a, a custodian. Sam Crenshaw. Sam Crenshaw. Uh-huh. And his cat Penelope. Yes. Okay. Which was a real cat, right? She was. So. Yes. The, the you best. Know, I actually can't remember. In my head, I think it was a real cat. I think it's a real I cat. I see it, it could be a really crappy puppet, and I wouldn't know the difference. So, Jeff <laughs> is a. Like that. Jeff is an utter moron. He is. Who tries to figure out what it's like to be a person in each episode, and I, I just hate the show. I couldn't. It wasn't I, for I you, baby. Not it hate. was for 
Probably uh, when I was a kid, you would have been too old for probably. it. Probably. It was like for me. Blob Help says, ooh, Pinwheel with Coco the Mime. Oh my gosh. Yes, Coco the Mime. She could make two things. She could make a dollhouse and a fuck, or a flipping birthday cake. <laughs> Yeah. Remember? She had about two things going she, on there. Was, that was her little segment. She'd she'd walk around like the stupid in between the, stupid town the and do things. And Plus and minus were on so pinwheel. Weird. It would have weird like animations from Eastern Europe and stuff that would they'd throw in there to entertain children. The in Fre- that was, a French one? Does, is it French? Like magic baby shabby shabu? Yeah. That 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 that, that. that's baby. that's the best thing from there. Yeah, no, that, yeah, but, that's oh, the, that's the cute cool. rabbit that can fly. The bunny, the French with the bunny propeller. with the tears that would I like propel that. around. Pinwheel, pinwheel, thinning it had Hattie Town. Look at my pinwheel. Pinwheel. Yeah, Town. I remember that. Hattie Town. Do, 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 with do, carrot. Do, 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 yeah. Pen yeah. Yeah, I used to watch I used to watch that. Okay, so you, you Some of it was after my time. too old to watch that. Oh, Pinwheel came out when I was when I was younger ish. But I always I always kinda aired well, yeah. on the side of the younger things. Yeah. Because I was slow to mature. Pay well. Admiral Bird. Yeah, basically, if you guys don't know what Pinwheel is, it's uh, kind of the. It was Nickelodeon's version of. It was like in lieu of babysitters. Uh, back of in Sesame the 80s. Street. Yeah, and they'd and they had a, and, they had a yeah. Aldi's brand version of, of Bert and Ernie. The, the Aldi's named brand Plus brand. and Minus. It was. It was kind of like off brand Sesame Street that was commercially motivated from Canada. Yeah. As opposed to Pinwheel. Or um, as opposed to Sesame Street. In the Admiral yeah. Bird that showed up. Yeah. The intro is on YouTube. Cool. What about Lamb Chop's Play Along? I like Lamb Chop. Reading Rainbow is good. That's Reading Rainbow is actually good at any age. Yes. Hey, I was drinking my coffee cup. I had LeVar Burton on it. <laughs> it's a Star Trek one, though. It's what, a... what What does the word LeVar mean in French? In, in, in Spanish, it's to wash. Oh, I mean, that, that's what I meant in, in Spanish. Oh. To wash? Uh-huh. Lavar? Lavar. So, L-A-V-A-R. So what does, what does his name mean? <laughs> to wash Burton? <laughs> to wash Burton. <laughs> uh, uh, Lamb Chop's cute. Yeah. Oh, Sherry hey, Sherry. Sh- yeah. My sister's in the room, I think. Your sister, Sherry? Yes. Oh. It says, oh my God, Lamb Chop. Is it because you're yeah. talking about Sherry Hey, Lewis? Sherry, Sherry, weren't, <laughs> you, Sherry. weren't you named after her? Your sister Sherry's name for Sherry Lewis? I, I think so. That. It's I think oh, so. Oh, that's so funny. I, I, it's funny because we were just talking about Ari, Ariel, and I remember when she was little how she didn't know Lamb Chop was a puppet, and I think we kind of spoiled it And Lamb Chop talks like lamb this. Chop is a I'm Lamb Chop. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the cute little sleepy eyes. I didn't know lamb Chop was a puppet. This is a song that doesn't end. It just goes on, on and on, my friend. Oh, that's that's Sherry. And Bram, and it the um, horrible, horrible show that was on after. Uh, it's, it, I'm sure it's enjoyable for some people. That was on after um, Pinwheel. You know what I'm talking about. I, 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 yeah, I don't think I watched that one. Oh. Charlie Horse. Oh. He was one of the puppets on Sherry on um, Lamb Chop. Right, right. But yeah, I, uh, I like Lamb Chop. Pinwheel, pinwheel, you're you're pinwheel. just a fan of puppets in general, though, aren't you? I love puppets. I know. That's I'm not being sarcastic or pejorative. I mean, when we go places and there's like a puppet show, you're like, oh my god, puppet show. Yeah, yeah. and I'm and I'm and it's often the the, the idea is shot <laughs> As down. Is your want. No. I just want to see puppets. Oh. Well, it has come up a lot that like there's a puppet show happening and you can't always go see it. It's true. The Elephant Show, Mr. Rogers. Sharon, Lois, and Bram was The Elephant Show. Yeah. See, now, now you're talking... See, I know these shows. You're always talking about shows I don't know. I, know I, I don't know the... Children's Programming from Canada. Bram. Yes. You know what? What was... The puppet was voted off Mass Singer last week. Ugh. I don't watch that stuff. What is it? Ma- the Mass oh. Singer... God, is it a music contest show? Yes, sorry, Tammy. It's just not my bag. Sorry, world. I don't like music contest shows. I just can't. It's I like just can't. I, I, mean, I think the mass singers. You're music. supposed to I, guess who the singer is, but they're supposed to be someone you already know. So they're famous already, and it's like these are already famous people. It that's 
It's not even. Well, like... I don't understand. The... Okay. Oh, don't... the new zoo review. Ugh. I didn't see that. Uh, I, yeah, I always wanted to stick my I fist up the hip, hippopotamus's nose. I had a the new zoo review, I think. Or am I confusing that with Zoobly Zoo? I don't know. Man, there was a lot of shite programming made back then for small children. New Zoo review. And then a uh, Great Space Coaster. Great Space Coaster. Oh, 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 the Great Space Coaster. Off we go. You know that, right? I showed it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, show me the nicest things, baby. Not fancy to a place where things ride fast and free. With new friends and new things to see. We'll spin you through the galaxy. See on that, great I know space that song. Coaster. I, think, oh, oh. I think my sister's probably watched it. I don't remember. Off we go. Was it a cartoon? It had cartoon segments in it, but it, it was, was... Oh, was it like a... It was was I don't, it like an anthology? Not an anthology, a but variety like a, show? a magazine style program. I don't, where it yeah, like, yeah, magazine style. They, they even had yeah. news. It Gear, what? They even had the news. Really? No news is good news without Gary Gnu's or something like that. Can you like the the, 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 the ungulate? Yes, no. he's an ungulate. <laughs> the yeah, Electric Company. Ungulate. Huh? The Electric Company is another show. Oh. The Electric Company that had Morgan Freeman on it. Really? Yep. And Spider Man. The Electric Company was for slightly older kids. Um, oh. slightly older than that would have been Sesame older for me probably. Yeah. Hey, you guys, da, 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 da. we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna do it our way. You don't know that one? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I don't know it, I don't know it, dude. Yeah. I'm not gonna pretend to sing along. Yeah. So I'm just sing sitting here singing like a moron, and the room's just like, what's Matt talking about? <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> we got about how to pay. 23 <laughs> minutes to raffle, guys. Cool. All right, but as far as other female, Zach Efron was one I mentioned. Um, Zach Efron, what about him? he it's his birthday today. Oh, let's wish a happy birthday to Zach Efron. Happy and birthday. And Lee Harvey Oswald, uh, it it's his birthday. He oh. died in 1963. He died. I didn't know that. I did not know he died in this in 63. He did. 63. For heaven's sake. Yes, it's like somebody almost ran up and shot Ooh. him in the gut. <laughs> the chat's not moving. People don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, oh my God. But yes, uh, magical. Huh? those kids shows will stick in your head forever. Yeah. Do we just never have the raffle once? I'm new here. Do we just never have the raffle once? I don't understand I don't your question, Trina. Your question. Do we just never have... The, I'm trying to... Don't we have three raffles. We have three raffles. Yeah, if that's we do the raffle every hour. Raffle every you hour. You have to enter it. I guess. Do you have to enter it every hour? You know? Yeah. What's that? Yeah, I have to enter it every hour, right? Like. If you yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And the next one is the um, the pin, the pumpkin spice dragon portrait pin. Yes. Do, 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 do. And also the wall calendar. The big wall calendar. And I will autograph it. Cool. It's always hard to show on this camera thing. Can you flip through it a little bit? Sparkly. Can I do what? Can you flip through it a little? Sure. Show like some of the months. Yeah. Here's um. Here's March. It's got fishes in it. Oh, I love that painting. I love painting fish. I don't know why. This one's got an owl. Um. This one's got a possum. I forgot this one is in here, Maddie. Do you remember the possum one was in here? I didn't know I painted that one in time for it being printed. My possum? Well, I guess I did because, look, it's got the other one from the um, Corey Helper Gallery, too. The oh, Isle they, of the They Dead. want to get the newest stuff at when they can. Oh, that's a nice one. This, hey, this is one I painted on Twitch. Wasn't it? Isle of the Dead. Yeah. Yep. It has dinosaurs in it. I love that painting so much. There are some paintings I wish I still had that's going here's another one i painted on twitch this was uh this is a detail close-up looks like it doesn't show the the the, the water at the at the bottom so much uh, absence reflections that's one i did up here um no tbsn says i love the mermaids i, I, I can paint mermaids all day and never get bored of that oh bosh princess 
There she is. I love this one. This is one I did for the, um, a New York show also. That was for the, um, Jonathan Levine Gallery. Ah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that's when we were there. In the we met concert. Millie there. Huh? Uh, who's in the room? Who's in the room? We met Millie there. Oh, who I is in the room? I, I couldn't hear the first part of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> who happens to be in the room? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one's on there. What's the first month? I don't think I saw January. Oh, that's a nice one. Pretty Angel of Starlight. Yeah, it's always a favorite. Oh, yeah. There's. Mm. Oh, and Windswept. She's in there too. But yeah, they're, they're all. On the back, and you can buy these on Amazon or calendars.com, or you just search Strangeling Calendar 2021. It will probably be on. I'll like, go ahead and put the link up again. Yeah, if you have a link up, put up the link. Oh, also, if bookstores are open, they probably have them at bookstores. If you are like at a Barnes and Noble or something, and you ever are like, hey, I want this book, this coloring book, this calendar, this Jasmine book, whatever, and you don't see it there, you can always go up to the counter and say, hey, I'd like to order this in. If you don't want to buy it online, you can just buy it at a bookstore, and they'll they'll bring it to you. There, all, everything that I do is always has a big distributor, usually Llewellyn Books or um, Simon and Schuster or some sort of big distributor that will have it available through regular bookstores and stuff. So. Everything's just weird right now because of COVID or whatever. Where's that kitty cat talking, baby? Kitty. So Millie says that was a snowy mess. That and we, was we met a TBSN snowy at Disney. Well, I'm happy we got a chance to meet you, TBSN. Yeah. Nigel loves the mermaid pictures and porcelain is his favorite. Mimi oh, says, yeah. I think it would be really cool if, if Disney compiled all of Jasmine's Disney into a calendar. I agree. I'm sure There's she painted enough, enough Disney too. theme for one. There's certainly enough of them. So they could totally do a calendar. I wish they would. Maybe they will. I hope so too. Yeah. There's um, interesting stuff happening at Disney, so we'll see. There is some interesting stuff happening right yes, now. Yes, right now. <laughs> right now. So we've got 20 minutes, eh, less so, like 17 minutes to the raffle. Minutes. I'm trying to keep it current. Oh. Other rest of these people, I don't really know really? on this page. I said Mike Ditka, Pam Dauber. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Dawn Wells. She played uh, Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island. Oh. I, I know I watched that when I was little, but I don't remember it at all. I just know I watched it because. The Professor my and Mary Ann. How I misunderstood a lot of <laughs> the characters on it. Like, I, remember, I, I think I thought, like, Gilligan was their son, and, like, the professor was the dad. I, I mean, I was really little. I was, like, two. Maybe maybe they are. Maybe. So who who was Skipper? I don't know. I don't remember this at all. This has just been told to me. Second. Little buddy. Little buddy. That is, it's so, I don't know. I felt like Gilligan got so dehumanized. about 20 years ago or something when he got arrested for heavy marijuana or so, something very minor and people made a big deal about it bob denver that is bob denver um maybe i mean he was maynard g krebs maynard g krebs yeah, was on something beat nick for christ's sake yeah Yeah. Um, I put so many flowers in this when I was sketching it. <laughs> gonna have a lot of flowers in this painting. I guess it's gonna be springtime, so. Are you guys doing anything fun for Halloween? Um, not at the moment, but maybe in Halloween. Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. We'll, we'll figure something out. And yeah, I'm... it's uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> but we'll be here the day after Halloween, won't we? Um, is Halloween's a Saturday? Was it the Saturday mm -hmm. or Friday? Saturday? I think so. I think we yep. talked about this last time because it's a blue moon too. Right? Yeah, something it's, like that. And and it's um flipping um bastard day. What? I'm sorry, but uh, uh, daylight savings time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, also known as bastard, bastard day. day. Jesus. Um, yeah, 
bastard day. But anyways, it's the, um, Halloween is daylight savings time, and it's a full moon, and it's it's not next um, weekend, but the weekend after. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Today's and the eighteenth. Yeah. And then the Sunday would be the day that we'd probably be up here. On Is anybody? Uh, does anybody have a costume? What What are you guys going at as for Halloween there? I will probably be wearing coveralls and a halter top. That's all. I Dobby have Gillis. Wear. Is that like What's a Harry that? Potter uh, fanfic? <laughs> what is it? Dobby Gillis. <laughs> Dobby Gillis. Yeah, they, I'm sure they mean Dobby. Doby da 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 Doby da 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 Doby Once a gal's creamy Doby Once a gal's dreamy Doby Once a gal calls <laughs> Or whatever yeah, Bastard day I'll mark it on my strangling calendar <laughs> Yeah I should write that <laughs> Or they said strangling calendar Ooh that's yeah. a different Ooh. sort of calendar Yeah that's an extra bastardly one <laughs> But yeah Doby Gillis was alright I, I like know. those Nick at it, Night things. It, yeah. I just, it's hard to get excited about television shows. It's hard to get excited about Dobie Gillis. I mean, it's like, I'd equate it with Donna Reed or something. I mean, that's not even Mr. Ed level. I'll yeah, I Anchor. see. I, I'll wake Anchor up. Anchor has got some laughs in it. But. Yes. <laughs> I wake up early and get excited about Dobie Gillis almost every day. I can't help you with that. That's probably days I'm not around. I'm like, I wake up and I'm like, work. Remember mm. that? There were two bizarre things in Dobie Gillis. If you said work at Maynard G. Krebs, he'd say, he'd say, work, back to you. Mm-hmm. Like and, in a Scooby-Doo voice? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And then if you, then I'm trying, Zelda, if Zelda looked at Dobie and did this like squinky thing, he'd have to do it back at her. Like a nervous tick? Yeah. And he'd say, stop that. Oh. Stop that, Zelda. I really don't remember. I know I've seen that show, but I don't remember a damn thing about it. Gilligan's Island was Doby, wasn't it? Gilli what? Gilligan's Island it had Bob Denver on it. Uh, yeah. Um, who was Maynard G. Krebs from Doby Gillis? From Doby Gillis, yeah. But Doby is a is a that's like that's a toe-headed a... guy. Yeah. Who the hell? Is, who's that actor? Is he in anything else? I don't, I don't know. Remember. Oh, don't don't be sorry about that. I don't expect you to remember that silliness. I don't know why I know it all. Well, it was yeah, well before say, my time. Like decades before I was born. I'm amazed I know any of it. Well, it's because of Nick at Night. Yeah. You watch that. I watch Don Reed. Don watch Reed. Patty Duke. Those are good shows, man. Uh, I don't know, man. My Three Sons? No. Awful. No. No. 50s and 60s. What? Uh, Gidget? I did read, um, oh gosh, autobiography. What's her name? Sally Fields. Sally Fields autobiography. I just listened to it. She reads it on Audible. I didn't really know anything about it. I have a habit of like just buying any autobiography that's like on an audiobook and just listening to it. It's I, easier than watching all the TV shows and crap. Tammy was named after the movie Tammy. The I don't even know that movie. You got to tell me about Tammy? it. Tammy. Like that Tammy's in Love song? I don't know. Is that that same movie? I don't know. Perry Mason. Yeah. Well, that's that's you know, some I, good TV. I, I know they rebooted um, Perry Mason recently. Like as like a early noir sort of thing. I haven't seen it. Somebody was telling me it was good. Nick at Night. I love watching mo the monkeys when I was younger. I used to watch the monkeys. Yeah. Here we come. Walking down the street. Yep, good stuff. I like the monkeys. I was, yeah, I was very little when we had Nick at Night. Yeah. I uh, I remember when Davy Jones passed a few years ago. Oh, Carf that was that. He was supposed yeah. to be at um, here, remember? He was uh, supposed to be at he, he had, yeah, he uh, had an Epcot, Epcot scheduled and Mickey Dolan's. Yeah, Mickey, Mickey Dolan's, Dolan's did it instead. And I, that was that sweet. Was kind of nice, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I it was sad when Davy Jones died. He was cool. He was on also on a really good episode of Brady Bunch. Uh, I haven't seen that. Yeah. Car 54. It's a good show, right? No. 
not good TV. Car 54, where are you? No. It's about time, says Bubba Spence. I don't know that one. Oh, I love the monkeys. Yeah. Monkeys are good. We saw that show. He he lived 30 minutes from us, Davy Jones. Ooh, Wendy. Oh, he did. He lived up Fancy. in um, Partridge Lake family. Mary, didn't he? Oh, I used wait. to watch that. What's up? Didn't Davy Jones like live in Lake Mary or somewhere? I don't like, know. Did he? Ugh, I forgot. That, yeah, Partridge family is is good. No, it's not. <laughs> Somebody needs to explain these things to you, baby. You don't... Partridge Family isn't good? No. I've never actually seen it. I'm what? sorry. Is it good? Partridge Family has its moments. It's better than a lot of things. It's better than the Brady Bunch. <sighs> You're not winning me, babe. I mean, if you took Keith Partridge and Greg Brady and they... Nope. <laughs> and put them in a fist fight, who would win? I hope... Um, I don't know. I don't know the either of them. Are they fighters? Back then, do what, they have something to lose what did we have to compare them to, though? Huh? Tammy says, back then, what did we have to compare them to, though? That's true. That, that, that was their shows. Painting on their the Munsters. I like the Adams Family. The Adams Family? That was good. You like that one? That was cute. Jasmine liked the Adams Family. I think that's the only old show Jasmine likes. <laughs> I like, um, well, it depends what you mean by old. The Munsters, you did some artwork for that. Yeah. So you, you like that, right? I did artwork, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Elvira. I also did artwork for like, Diet Mountain Dew. Elvira, Mistress of like the Dark? It. What is it? Oh, Elvira. Uh, TBSN yeah. said Elvira. Like, yeah, I, she's, I mean, she's she, she ain't that old, but. Host. Yeah. Yeah. Also love the Munsters, Adam's Family, and Bewitched. Oh, Bewitched is oh, good. okay. I used to watch Bewitched. I liked, um. I, I like liked Bewitched. The movie that... What's that? I'm trying to think. What's the name of the movie that Bewitched is kind of based off of? Oh, uh, Bell, Bell Book and Bell Candle. Bell Book and Candle. That, like Bell Biv DeVoe? Bell, Bell Biv DeVoe. <laughs> Bell Biv Who remembers DeVoe. Bell Biv DeVoe? <laughs> yeah. Who remembers Eight is Enough? I was just talking about it, Tammy. And I was saying how... Um, I've uh, told Matt I've never, ever seen Eight is Enough. And you were talking about how it takes place in Sacramento. We, well, Jasmine Sacramento and I listened to this podcast where feeling. somebody... Somebody's from Sacramento, and they, they constantly say Sacramento sucks. And I was like, man, when I was little, I thought Sacramento was awesome because uh, Eight is Enough happened there, and Willie Ames had a van, and I always wanted to. I always thought he had a cool life, and he was like still in high school going around in a big old van. And I don't you know. Think it just cool, seemed cool. Yeah. Shut up. Hey, remember Willie the Ames? Who, he, the Empire? He did live by us over in Kansas. What's that? Remember Willie Ames had lived by us in Kansas, kind of, and had the garage sale? Oh, oh, in Kansas. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you I, these, there's some Kansas City people in the room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Willie Ames, that's when he was, like, after he was Bible Man. Yes, that's after he was Bible Man and he lived in Kansas. Yeah, and he oh, and God. he and uh, Scott Bale were in a movie called, like, after Charles, or before Charles in Charge, they were in a movie called Zapped, where uh-huh. Scott Bale has telekinesis. Mm-hmm. But I'd much rather see Crawl. <laughs> My family used to get called the Adams Family as my father was seven foot two. Oh, Sheesh, wow. Leela. Did he play basketball? It would be awesome if you did Hocus Pocus in your style. Maybe Disney will ask me to. Yeah, it's Disney property. Because it is Disney, and they do have me do Yeah, stuff. it's. I've been seeing a lot of Hocus Pocus talk a lot lately. I've been at the theaters, and yeah. they're doing it um, downtown here, too, like outside they're doing hocus pocus outside. I've never seen them. Oh, oh, in our, in our little. Yeah, like in our. Uh, are they? Downstairs. They have an outside I, movies again. I I don't know. Oh, that remember sounds if fun. I saw that an ad for it, or if I'm imagining it, and I'm thinking it was last year. I've never actually seen hocus pocus. I've seen it once. Is I'm, it I'm good? I I mean I might get crucified for it, but I I don't see what the big deal is. Oh, I, I have not seen it, so I, I don't know. Yeah, see, people are like, I love hocus pocus. Oh. Should I watch it? Would I, would I like it, maybe? I don't remember it. It, was, it's not, it wasn't memorable enough for me to form a huge opinion about it. Oh. I saw it. Is I, it a kid's movie or I remember this one scene where Sarah... Uh, what's her name? Um, Sarah Jessica Parker? Sarah Jessica Parker's, uh-huh. like, putting children to sleep and 
she's like flying around on her broom or something. Sounds witchy. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna say if you, if you want, if you guys want to see an older property, and it should be on Disney Plus, if you want to see a scary, um, uh, yeah, show, Mister Boogity. Mister Boogity's kind of scary. Uh, Mister Boogity. Boogity. It's Is a, it a live Disney a- channel. Is it cartoon or live action? It's live action. But yeah, I'd, you might want to give that a shot. Who's in it? Uh, I don't know. It's just like. Is it actually scary or is it something? It's a little bit it? scary. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of weird. You know, Mister Boogity's kind of freaky. Hmm. Was your mom talking about that once? No. Okay. It's what something I watched alone. No okay. one watched that with me. Trina says it's my absolute favorite movie. Hocus Pocus is your absolute favorite movie. Wow. I should watch it. Well, I, I just I that's I that's I just think of the yeah. Yeah. wow the universe of movies and, and it would be the one that's everyone's talking right now. You must be on cloud nine. That's that's impressive. Oh, we've got about three minutes till the raffle. But yeah, Hocus Pocus is crazy popular. Well, it, especially it's one of those like things. A long time ago, didn't it? Or not a long time ago, but like I think when, it's when I was little, maybe. Uh, what, what from the nineties? Yeah, I think. When's Hocus Pocus from? Mm-hmm. The Bet Midler, uh, Kathy and Jimmy, and Sarah what? Jessica Parker, right? Kathy and Jimmy is Peggy Hill. Right? I think it's Kathy and Jimmy. Well, yeah, what's your favorite animated movie, Jasmine? Well, I don't know. 1993. Yeah, 1993, I would have been 19. I don't think that's a movie that a 19-year-old guy would probably like. It don't know. Probably, I'm trying to think. I would have been a little girl, although... It might have been aimed at me, but I didn't see it. I didn't Tammy see says it Heavy Metal. I love the I love oh, Heavy Metal. Heavy Metal's a great movie. Yeah, that's I good. I like that one. Wizards is good. <laughs> Wizard, old some Bakshi. Bakshi. Wizards is great. Uh, Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice is excellent. Uh, Wizards is better. Um. Yes, it is. Yeah, I like those Bakshi things. Those are great. Bakshi and the old, the old um, Lord of the Rings, or the old Hobbit. The old rotoscope ones. Hobbits yeah. that nobody likes. I love them, though. Yeah. <laughs> Bannister Mall Midnight for Heavy Metal. Cool. Dude. Bannister Mall. Oh, I, I saw Heavy Metal at midnight at uh, Word Parkway Mall. The Crow is good. Lila likes The Crow. It's not animated, but... Not what I would call an animated. But she, Leela's got to just mention that because it's cool. And oh, it's it's a good time of year for the crow. It, that's true. And Brandon, Brandon was Lee. named after Brandon Lee. Oh, yes. Yes. Because his, his mom's an uber Brandon. fan of Bruce Lee and his son Brandon. Yeah. Very cool. That is cool, actually. Those look like some super comfy pants. Oh, you mean in the... Um, oh, these are like overalls. In the broadcast? Or, <laughs> uh, or in the... Slideshow or what Jasmine's wearing, wearing now? now? These are just like horrible overalls that are covered in paint. We can't well, you got to paint comfortable. What's up? You got to paint comfortable. Yeah, no, I, I, I can't. I mean, I, I, it's not even worth wearing real clothes. I get paint on everything. But yeah, they are super comfortable. And they cost $9.80 on Amazon. Oh. What is that? That's our, that means it's time for the raffle. Cool. Rap raffle. We're gonna pick the winner, guys. Okay, so winner, get little orange dragon friend. All right, let me get to the screen and pick a winner. Big, big calendar. Woo. And I'll sign. Alex Ladante. I think they've won before. Oh, really? Not, not late. I mean, last year or something. Oh, cool. Well, congratulations to Alex Ladante. You have won a pumpkin spice dragon portrait pin. And, and a wall a calendar. Wall calendar. And I will autograph both of these things and we'll get those sent out to you. Matt will put and instructions in the room. I will start the next the giveaway. 
And we'll start next giveaway. Next giveaway, we don't Any know what instructions the prize in the room? is because we do the Wheel of Fortune thingy. Yeah? Yes. For the last one. There you go, Alex. I put the instructions in the room. And let me demonstrate the prize wheel for those of you not in the know. I just like playing with it, so shut up. All right, so no one's going to win this prize, but if they if it was an hour from now, I would spin this wheel, and we'd see what they'd win. It says original painting. That'd be hilarious. Oh, my God, that's it? You won oh. an Alice Oracle deck. So you'd win so an Alice Oracle deck. So Very cool. And there is an original painting on the prize wheel. It's... Yes, it's that little black not sliver you see. Likely, <laughs> but it's like a two percent chance or something. It's, it's not pretty like low. lottery odds, but it's, it might happen after a year. Odds are it would happen. Yeah, you could do once a week. Um, so yeah. There's yeah, I think if if over uh -huh. the course of a year, if we did fifty-two broadcasts, uh -huh. it, 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 it would be a fifty percent chance yeah. if okay. we did fifty-two that a painting would be one. Okay, over the course of a year. That's yeah, good. it's really low. But my gosh, it's an original painting. Yeah. yeah. Dude. But yeah, it's way better odds in the lottery. Well, it's not as good. Though. Goonies never say die. You just said die. You must not be a Goonie. That's a paradox, Tammy. She's saying D. Z. Yeah. Goonies should not be able to say that statement. <laughs> I remember somebody had a Goonies never say die shirt on. And I said, "What? What do you? What do you call those things that you 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 roll? It's like one's a, one's you know has numbers on it, and sometimes they're six sided, and you're all." And she's like, "Dice." And I was like, "And what do you call one? A die?" And, and then I said, "You're not a goonie." And she was sad. Oh, I made her sad for the rest of the day. Um, I hope that you find comfort in that one. I found a lot of comfort. You know, it's the only thing that gets me up some mornings. Do you not? Mm. <laughs> no, I, I, she, we were just kidding around. And then she bought some prints, and we're all happy. Good. Sadly, we're late. Happy Sunday, Jasmine, along with everyone else. You've missed... Oh, Angela, you missed it. There was, like, a, a tiger here, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, Ryan Reynolds showed up, and um, and uh, uh, what else, what, other, what other lies can... Um, and uh, Madonna no, did a concert, there. and... Uh, gosh, what else happened? Uh, Tenacious D was here. Oh. Yeah, and then um, we went back in time and we killed baby Hitler. <laughs> and I this part. what's that? I missed this part. Yeah, well, it's okay, well, that's I because I, I used a I used a mem forget spell on you. Well, I it's probably because I'm painting though. I'm trying to see is this showing? I'm trying to get it to show lower down on the. Oh, I don't know, monkey. Let's go at the top. Be careful. I will. I got the thing where the screen froze again. Stupid thing. I'm not just refresh this. Again? It's my, on my dumb end. Uh oh. I think. Uh oh. Time. I'm rough with it. Hmm? Rough. You're like a kid, new kid on the block. Oh, how exactly? They say we're rough. We're rough. I think that has anything we're tough. to do with me or what's happening at the moment. Yeah, oh, that's true. Okay. Got some little people down. Here. But yeah, Madonna showed up and Tenacious D was here. Oh, I didn't know. And the and the Tiger King was here too. The Tiger King? <laughs> the Tiger King was here. <laughs> Man, prison. He was like, Man. That ain't how you broadcast. I used to broadcast every day. Shoot. Tiger King. <laughs> not a huge fan of her, but I missed a tiger. Uh huh? Uh, Angela says, not a huge fan of her, but I missed a tiger. Uh, Madonna's. I, I'm not a huge Madonna fan, but I. There are some songs I, I like. Uh, that I mean, that's. That's as much as I can say about that. Caspian MK1 is now following. Thank you so much, Caspian. Thank you. Night, Leela. You take care of yourself. Night, Leela. Get some cozy stuff. And I can't wait to hear see your boots. Yes. You should paint an ice queen. Yeah. TBSN says. Not, okay. to, not to Leela. <laughs> I have actually. I've 
did quite a few ice cream. Okay, so Angela says, I'm like you, some songs. You like that Ray of Light song, Jasmine, don't what? you, by Madonna? I don't think so. Do I? You, you said, I like the video for it. Is oh, I thought you liked it. Is that where she turned into a bunch of crows? That part was cool. I or don't wait, know. Wait, am I thinking a different that, one? Maybe that's like a prayer. It's like I when she's I don't know. uber I don't, Catholic. I don't really know a lot of Madonna. She's kind of like know. she's kind of like Scully. Sometimes she's uber Catholic. <laughs> she's kind of like Scully. <laughs> no, Madonna. She definitely is like, I am going to be Catholic in this album. <laughs> Just like a prayer. Always yeah. it's me now. You should you should write good summaries for musicians, baby. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, and her name's Madonna for crying out loud. Yeah, I was gonna say what she's sometimes Catholic and her name's Madonna. This is kind of sacrilegious, isn't it? What do you mean? Her, she's going around saying she's the Madonna and That's singing like songs and praying. Lila says the song is frozen where she becomes crows. Frozen. Oh, okay. I don't know that. <sighs> it was, I remember that was like in the late nineties or so when it had. MTV. I didn't. I don't know it. it and it, it had a video where it's like she turned into a bunch of crows. It was cool. Or I thought so when I was a teenager, at least. So. The first song I ever heard by Madonna was "Lucky Star," and I saw it on MTV. Oh. And she's. I mean, she's mostly dancing and, like, kicking her legs in the air. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some songs where she sings like a baby the whole time, and then there's some songs where she sings with a lower tone. That's kind of weird. So she's got she's got a range, I apparently. I don't have any music of hers, I don't think, like, on my phone or anything. Um, yeah, you don't. That's not really... You don't. I mean, nothing against her. She sings nice enough. I just... I guess so. I think she's actually pretty smart. I think that she's, she's business-wise, she's person. clever. Yeah. Runs out of the room with a blankie. Lula's like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Borderline. Borderline. Seems like I'm going to lose my mind. Like... Are you keep on pushing my love over the borderline? Yep, I remember that. Like a virgin, yeah. I know that yep. song. And Weird Al Yankovic had a like a surgeon mm-hmm, cutting mm-hmm. for the very first time. Material Girl is a song I like. That's, I, know, I know that song. That's for you, song. I like Material Girl. I think that's a good song. Like a Virgin. I don't, think it's I don't I never, like, care for that much. Borderline's to not I... too bad. Weird Al's pretty funny. Weird, weird. I think Weird Al is more funny when he's singing versus when he's talking because he's just kind of he's just <laughs> super goofy. The whole time, rather than funny, there's a difference. And um, but I appreciate his parodies. I'm a, I mean, I grew up with Mad Magazine. Jazz and I were talking about that a few hours ago. Yeah. Suddenly seeking Susan was a movie she was in. Yeah, I saw that. I remember. It's desperately seeking Susan too. I haven't seen that. Um, but close enough, Glenda. Doctor Demento. Yep. He talks about the horrors of D and D. No. I like that sort of thing. Well, it's pretty. Fu- well, he's mocking Uh-oh. terrified well, parents at terrified the time. Terrified parents of the 1980s. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, Glenn. I'm a movie nerd. I might know things about movies that I'm not even fond of. But Blob is a crazy movie nerd. I got to get my skills up. I don't know how to. I mean, I, it's not like I can just go to IMDb and absorb its power. Yeah, you can. Ooh. I'll try. I met Weird Al when he was an, when he was honorary leader one year at the Casey Elvis parade. You did? Or, or Katie? Katie did. Katie did. Well, oh. Katie, that's just weird. That's that's, 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 that's like weird on top of weird. But I yeah, I can I see you attending you. that. That'd be a weird thing to lie about. Katie's like, screw it. Today I'm gonna go see the Elvis parade. Oh look, Weird Al's here. Yep. God, I bet this painting probably looks like a big flipping mess on the screen, doesn't it? I bet nobody can tell what's going on. Oh well. Yeah. That's okay. You'll you guys will get to see it when it's all done eventually, and you'll be like, "Wow, I saw Jasmine painting that." <laughs> but yeah, I um. What was I thinking? I forget now. Darn it. Was it about um, Madonna or um, Weird Weird Al? I don't remember. Okay. 
Oh, I was going to ask if, if people, uh, I don't know why I was reminded of this, but has anyone in, in Kansas City in the room, uh, has anyone, <laughs> somebody just said something funny in the room. Has anyone been to the, um, or did you ever go to the world's biggest magic shop at uh, US Toy? Yeah, that place was like I used to like hang out there. I've probably I, been there that was, a hundred times. Well, yeah, I love it there. <laughs> Glenda says, "If you speed up Trent Reznor's voice, he sounds like Weird Al." <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that. You know, you never hear things sped up anymore. Like back when people had audio tapes and stuff, you'd hear we have fast. we have some Nine Inch Nails on vinyl. I, I was going to say it up. on vinyl. It could, yeah. Huh. I have to start doing artwork on a shirt for my husband. I'm going as Bob Ross for Halloween, and my husband is my canvas. Oh, that's cute, Trina. Oh, that's fun. I, I hope people enjoy it. That's really cute. Aw. Yeah, there used to be a huge Elvis parade every August. How did I miss that? Not, not your bag, really? But yeah, I remember I'm not, the I'm not a big shop Elvis at person. US Toy Babe. I've probably been there 100, 200 times at the Magic Store. Yep. The Magic Store. And I, I think it's moved. Yep. Yeah, I remember, I, I think your mom sent me a link to it. I was yeah. like, hey, now my day is great. But yeah, I used to hang out there and talk about magic all the time. <laughs> Didn't have the magic capital US2 in Kansas US2 toy City. moved over on Metcalf bigger now. I haven't been to it since it moved. Hmm. Yeah, me neither. I haven't been, I don't know if I I've been I'm in. I'm trying to think. I mean, I've, I was have I been in town since then? I don't know. Uh, Hmm. I miss them since they moved. Oh, the Elvis? Oh, oh, the the, the Metcalf. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, the shop, the magic shop, or the did the magic shop? Yeah, they moved last year, I think. Says oh, Tammy. Okay. So maybe I wasn't there, or maybe if I was in town, I was too busy and I just didn't have. I think we were in chance. town for the Ren Fair, and people mentioned it. That was a pretty quick visit that time. That was yeah. We were just there for in and out it, really. That was the talk of the town. The magic shop. <laughs> the magic shop. If you guys don't know, it's it, it's it claimed to be the world's largest magic shop. Yeah. So it was pretty big. It was pretty I, big. I, I mean, don't. I haven't seen a bigger one. It was kind of. I mean, that whole building is like basically a warehouse. So it's it's square footage wise, it probably was the biggest magic shop I've seen. Yeah, and I remember the people that worked there. There was yeah. a guy named Chris that had super long hair. Uh -huh. The owner. The old dude. Is he the owner? Dude no, guy. Chris. Chris was no. He, he's not the owner. Mm. Um, then there was Tom yes. Burgoon, who uh -huh. also who he uh, is a comedian. Mm -hmm. uh, he does a magic comedy act, and he would tour. But then he'd come back, and that's where he worked when he was in town. Yeah. And sometimes he would do, like he'd do cruise ships and whatnot. Oh. And then there was Phil Stein, who owned the magic shop, and he was a very strange person. Mm. He's only tells you you have to have a character. I was like, "Hey, uh, F Phil, <laughs> m do you have any advice for uh, young young ma magicians?" Aspiring magicians, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. And he'd say, "You you gonna have a character? You're not gonna get anywhere yeah. unless you have a character. You're gonna have a character." I guess that was his character. Yeah. So that's how he talked, and it was it. It freaked me out. Yeah. But no, nah, that's yeah, that's that's. <laughs> That's what I did. That's how you get the girls, man. You know it. The magic shop teams up and does a lot of build up for Planet Comic Con. Okay, you know yeah. I should I should check them out. Yeah. And Phil, if you're listening, uh, I, I, I'm trying. I'm working on that character. Yeah. Character. I'm not doing any magic. <laughs> so you it's haven't like been it's, keeping up, baby. <laughs> I haven't been. Could we please have a Wicked Witch Monkey fan next year for Ren? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if that... Does that really match the run fair, though? Well, the prop... Yeah, that's the thing. The run is on... Or it's supposed to be in, like, the 1500s or whatever. So it's like if you take things from the 1930s... Oh, it's witches, 1920s. though. It, can, you it can is pretend witches, it's a... and it is monkeys. So that's... Yeah. Mm. No, I mean, Wizard of Oz... Take you have to burn the fan. <laughs> 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 they do oh, Wizards maybe. and Witches Weekend. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, it, it's... Yeah. I can maybe do that. We'll see. Uh, Dizzy says, hey, it's been a while since I was able to catch one of your streams. Hope oh, you're doing well. Good to see you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I hope you're uh, I hope you're not too dizzy right now. <laughs> you got to have a character. 
He reminds me of the bad guy from Warriors, the movie, oh, gross. the 1970s. Uh-huh. It was like, it wasn't me, it was the Warriors. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the magician who looked like Chris, who worked at uh, Waldo Pizza. I never saw that, Jasmine. Oh, I, I still sorry. didn't. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And he's like, Matt, you would have loved it. There was a magician. And he looked and, just and he like, looked like Chris. Chris. And I was like, I, I don't. I, I t- anyways, I, I told it. you he got shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it a trick? Was it the magic? Bu- was it the no, uh, bullet in the tooth and trick? And we were okay. joking that maybe it was somebody who was really wanting to shoot Chris because he didn't look a lot like Chris. Jeez. I'm sorry, this is not funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's it's not. But it's anyways. He got shot. Man, he didn't die though, so that's good. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm happy he didn't die. Yeah. Phew. Yeah, in case you're worried. Yeah, I usually don't wish wish death on magicians. Yeah. Every now and then, I wish a little death on Chris Angel, but well, that's, you know, that's you that's know. that's how I roll. Hey, his ex has some of your paintings. I was gonna say, I have mutual acquaintances. <laughs> <laughs> don't die. Nah, dude, I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd, no, he's no, not no, my no. first choice to see in um, Vegas, but I'd see him if I if someone said, "Hey, Matt, you have some tickets to see Mr. Chris Angel." I'd be like, okay, cool. I'll go see him. I'll see him lying around on the Luxor. Yeah. Chris Doesn't Angel. he like live on the top floor of it, or he used to? He probably does. <laughs> I don't know. Not Chris Angel. I'll call him. <laughs> gonna, gonna call him out, man. <laughs> 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 no, some ongoing rivalry. Mr. Abs McMagic. Angel. That's what we call him. What is it? Abs McMagic. <laughs> Abs McMagic. <laughs> I've got a call for Mr. Abs McMagic. <laughs> it just it would he's such a Chris Angel is is <laughs> one of those when, no cuz when I when I was growing up the, the <laughs> we liked her magicians proper and nerdy and then Chris Angel <laughs> tried to bring up sort of well some of the mentalists were a bit goth but they they tried to he tried to bring a like pop goth sort of thing to magic. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Yeah, I was like, yeah. So. I like old, old, like, magic posters. That cool book that Kachina gave you. Oh, yeah, that's, that's incredible. Old, uh, old uh, magic posters, that's badass. I think it's upstairs. Yeah, that's a, it's a Tasha. Book. I love that's it. Really cool. I could look at those Tasha all the time. Tasha makes the Goth best rock star books. magician. Yeah, he's kind of like that. He's a what? Goth rock star magician. Yeah, without being goth or a rock star. Oh, yeah. ho, ho. he's a magician. Oh, ho, ho. I used to watch Mind Freak. No. <laughs> no. We always had to sign a waiver that for a really big magician that w- that was his name. For that really... That was his name? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, Chris Angel? Abs McMagic. Right? Oh, Abs McMagic. Goth isn't meant to be mainstream, says Blob. It's, it's not meant to be anything. Yeah, I guess, well... I don't know. There's there's some things that border on it, like Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh sure, yeah, that's a, sure. Mm-hmm. Anything Tim Burton? Levar. Not anything. <laughs> anything Lavar Burton. Lavar Burton is totally goth. Too wash Burton. Too wash Burton. It, see how it comes around. Yeah. Yes, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I know you'd like it. Yeah. No, I seriously was drinking out of a Lavar okay. Burton. David hat, Copperfield. So. Oh my gosh, I love David Copperfield. I'll I will see his shows and I will cry. Tammy mentioned David Copperfield. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hot exciting. Topic stores exist because it went mainstream. Had yeah, to- Hot Topic's been around for I don't know how many years. Hey man, Hot Topic like helped me pay rent when I was younger. <laughs> he makes all he makes all signed contracts. Okay. David Blaine, yeah, that guy will poke a David Blaine the thing the thing about David Blaine is he does things that aren't aren't magic where he'll just like stab his own arm. Yeah, who was it who was telling who was talking about that? And they're like, Oh, he just stuck a needle in his arm. It's not like uh, magic. You just was it's it like jo- being willing to put up with discomfort. John That's, Ronson? Yeah, I think it was John Ronson was talking about. Yeah. That. Yeah, John Ronson who's uh fantastic. I love John Ronson, he's great. But yeah, to say we won't to say we won't 
say what we saw on backstage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, um, like the, an NDA sort of yeah, thing. That, yeah, that's, well, that's, that's not, important. I mean, there, because there's legal reasons yeah, for all sorts of you don't things want, like that. Yeah, you don't want those things out. Awesome. NDA, NDAs are important. It's the Amazing awesome. Jonathan is great. I love the Amazing Jonathan. Oh, yeah. I remember, yeah. Penn and Teller, obviously. I've seen Penn and Teller. Yeah, Penn and yeah, Teller are great. They're always entertaining. Truthfully, I've never seen anything to explain it, says Tammy. <laughs> remember the show that would give away all the secrets of magic? I do, with the masked magician. I remember Doug Henning very well. Yep, Tigger. I, I was a magic nerd. So that was one of my hobbies. Ricky J, excellent. Ricky J is fantastic. Jasmine, we watched a documentary on Ricky J. Remember yes, that? Yes, did. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I also uh, some uh, a friend of ours who uh, comes into the room every now and then, Buddy. Buddy. You might see him. He uh. He, he took us to the. He magic took us to castle. the Magic Castle. It was. So I nerded cool. out. Yeah, I, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was so much. Buddy is he's my hero. I laughed. Oh, there's the cool. magicians. Yeah. There are just so good. I know. Even the so little good. Off to the side. Yeah, it's all yeah, it just yeah, I love it is that place. amazing. Yeah. No, Tammy says he was so good, and that secret show made me mad, so I never watched. It was very, it was contra- controversial. I never saw that. I remember people talking yeah. about it when I was little. Yeah, the thing is, people forget those how it's done, and or the magician presents the same trick in a different way, and you don't know it's the same. It's the same uh, thing. That it's Be- going off the same gimmick. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, uh, yeah, and I'll, magic isn't just, I mean, there's the showmanship aspect of it. The show itself that's part of the thing. It's not just a trick. Yeah. Because if you just get, go up there and do tricks efficiently <laughs> and you don't have a character, it won't work. Then that's what Phil Stein was yeah. trying to tell me. They had a wonderful catalog. Remember that catalog? Yes. That, yes. Man, those yes. were the days. Yeah. Katie says, my dad was a magician, really. Oh, and he was cool. showing my sister how to do a trick, and she set her hand on fire because she was so too slow. Yeah. You got to oh, The fire thing is, fire I mean, uh, yeah. I don't, I wonder which trick it was, Katie, but um, wow. Um, that's that's crazy. That's neat about your, uh, that's neat about your uh, dad. That rocks. So I bet he was very familiar with the, uh, Magic shop. But yeah, it's a small world, isn't it? Hey, maybe, it really maybe is. Maybe Phil Stein is listening. <laughs> hey, Phil. He, he wouldn't remember me. I was just one of many he is. dumb... He's, he's been keeping tabs on Oh, that, that'd be baby. creepy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, there, there are dangers in magic because they often use real blades or they'll use fire or Where they'll shoot blanks they will shoot blanks sometimes they'll use lighter fluid mm-hmm. you know it, yeah. suddenly they'll you see fire and then suddenly there's candy it's true you know? i mean it's they'll like have like olives with pits in them <laughs> very dangerous Almost lived, Diane. those poor bunnies where do they go have oh. you seen the prestige Oh, we know where they go. <clears throat> Just make another bunny. Oh, that's sad. I don't like that. David Copperfield was amazing and loved his sh- and loved his shows. I've seen David Copperfield twice. I used to get out of handcuff. I used to get out of handcuff tricks in the pool. My mom did not appreciate me doing those tricks. <laughs> Magician didn't really interest me until I saw Penn and Teller. Says, uh, I like Penn and Teller a lot. Yeah, I grew up liking Penn and Teller. My dad had their books and things. Yeah, I have several other books. Yeah. They're 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 well written too. Uh huh. They're me- very amusing. Yeah. Um. And I, rem- I remember watching Cruel, um, cruel in- Tricks Invisible for Dear Friends. String Invisible String. Invisible String. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Penn and Teller get killed. Penn and Teller get killed. Yeah. And of course, when I was older, I'd watch uh, bullshit on the TV. <laughs> Yeah. It's a Penn and Teller are good. Penn does a yeah. I've seen them. Like, Penn does a, a uh, scary on a, good show. <laughs> a scary uh, a scary uh, trick with a nail gun. Oh, I think I know what you're talking. Yeah, that one's a bit eh. Yeah. But yeah, Penn, Penn and Teller are funny. They they were they were um 
called the Bad Boys of Magic. Oh. There aren't enough female magicians, man. No. There, like, aren't any. It's I, I, yeah, I think one one is uh, because uh, I don't think it interests them all that what? often. It says who? So I, I, I don't know many girls that myself that have, like, oh, yeah, I want to know how to do magic tricks. or I, wanna... I did when I was little. I did I don't magic tricks. I don't know. I don't. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know why it's not pursued often then. I was just telling you, I went to the... U.S. Toy Magic Shop probably over a hundred times. You yeah, know? that's true. Well, maybe I'm a ma girl. You could, uh, you could uh, start it up. Start <laughs> yeah, doing I'll tricks, make a, <laughs> tricks a mid, on mid, Twitch. Midlife career <laughs> switch here. It's like, sorry, no more painting. I'm gonna become a magician in my forties. <laughs> what would you go by? No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Katie says, I spent lockdown um, learning close-up magic. Oh, that's cool. You mean, cl uh, probably close-up magic, you mean. So every time my mom was... You said close-up magic. What did you um, she she oh, said, she uh, said uh, up close. Uh, so every time my mom was teaching on Zoom, I would be in the background doing card tricks. Cool. That's neat, Katie. Right, You'll have to show me some. Yeah. I love a good card trick. I dig... I, I like close-up magical. I actually prefer it than to sometimes the big extravagant stage It's way more stuff. difficult, in it's my more, opinion. Yeah, so you, it, you have to be on your game a lot more, and it's neat to, you're to also, see in person. It right, you're also interacting more, directly, so you have to have good banter. <clears throat> yes, you have to say clever things and have to be able to make eye contact with people. <laughs> now you see me one and two are awesome. Um, I, I beg yeah, you Yeah, they're kind of like, if you're a I've fan of heist movies... Actually. Uh, a what movie? Heist movies. No, because that's basically you heist movies. Bitch, huh? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> like that. Yeah. No. I, um. I did. I didn't. I only saw the first one of those. Um. Now you see me movies. I, I think. I, I think. I, I. The reason I might like it somewhat did is because it, it deals the subject matter. Did I see it? Did I see it with you? Did I see it on a I airplane think, or something? I don't know. Yeah. I, I didn't see part two. No, I didn't see part two either. The um. I didn't really care for it. Jesse one. Eisenberg in it's so annoying. I'm I, trying to remember he, what's um. I don't even remember. Woody like, Harrelson's plot. all right. Oh yeah, Woody Harrelson's and I like him usually. Well, sometimes, yeah, I like him usually. And the girl in it's all right. He's the girl who's in it. I forget her name. I forget her name. I'm sure someone in the room would could yeah, tell me. I, I don't. I didn't really care. I, I don't. It's one of those movies that I forgot about immediately after I saw it. So it probably didn't leave enough of a well, they're doing, impression on me. They're doing impossible tricks. Oh. Eh. Like, in, I mean. I like the prestige. On the fly. Yeah. So it's almost like a magic movie. Like a ma magic, actual magical sort like, of. Like, oh. <laughs> like, like Lord yeah. of the Rings? No. What do you mean? Like, uh, it's, it's at, not real stuff that I can think, happen in the real world? I think that they actually find about out about real magic in that. I don't remember. I could be wrong. See, in the back of my head, I'm I feel wrong. like what? they're robbing a casino, but I know I'm, like, mixing it up with a different movie, probably. I really like The Prestige and The Illusionist. Those are both good movies. I liked both of those, actually. The Prestige is excellent. That's a great movie. The Illusionist was good, too. I remember they came out around the same time, and people... I think it, people... Felt like they had to compare them because they came out around. The yeah, time. one of them, one of them deals with the whole cool, uh, um, God, what the uh, David Bowie, uh, Tesla, Tes Tesla yeah. science, oh, he's bad ass prestiging, as prestiging Tesla. thing. Yeah, I and, love that. Uh, with excellent performances by Christian Bale yes. and um, and that, that is a and book too. That's a good book. I've read it twice. And it's good. And the other one almost has a Kaiser Sose sort of mm -hmm. thing going on. The uh, the Illusionist, right? Kind of. Yeah. At the it's end. Got, yes. Yeah. I see. What it's you're like ah, oh, you got me. Ha ha. This was awesome crap. Yeah. That, no, that was cute maybe, but no, the Prestige is excellent. That's really good. That's um. Say something really interesting. I forgot. About Tesla? Yeah. And Bowie? No. But maybe. I don't know. Why not? I like that theme song on the vow. <laughs> Invisible skin. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good song. 
Katie says, did you guys see the movie Death Defying Acts that was really good to, uh-huh. good too about Houdini? I didn't. No. no. Is it um, a documentary? I'm not sure. Or is it a musical? Is it <laughs> is it fictionalized, Katie, or is it... Like dramatized? Or? Yeah, is it dramatized, or is it... Is I it... like Houdini stuff. I like reading things and watching shit. So. I haven't seen that one. Invisible skin. <laughs> yeah, now I'm gonna want to watch the that one. I'm signing all those damn papers tonight. Sorry, I'll, sorry I'll, to interrupt friends. the conversation. <laughs> Somewhat dizzy. Man. There, there is no conversation, dizzy. You're not. You are the conversation. I I just talk until somebody says something. I just. Um, I have a quick cool. question. Are you still able to ship prints to Canada? Sure. Even with the pandemic, yeah, 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 yeah we'll of ship course. Anywhere. We ship everywhere. They might every take day. a little bit longer. The posties being a little bit of a jerk, but we will. We will be happy oh, yeah. to send those. We do our best. More miniseries, but pretty on track with the story. That's nice. Oh, it's a miniseries. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Invisible skin. Edward Norton is in The Illusionist. Yep, Glenda. He is. He is. Yes. Yeah, he's in that. And so and, is uh, and Jessica Biel. Yes, and um, the cool guy from... Uh, Dark City. Yes. Which is an awesome movie. <laughs> I, li- I like Dark City. That's, that's a good movie. Dark City rocks. Ah, it's got uh, Jennifer Connelly in it. Too. Now, I, like I think Doc- Dark City's proper goth. That's pretty it's good. Pretty, it's pretty dark. I remember coming I out love of the it. theater and like my eyes had to readjust. Yeah, that's that great. pretty goth, man. <laughs> what advice would Jasmine give to a person who wanted to do art like hers? I don't like mine. <laughs> no, um, um, like mine, uh, painting, or like just uh, like acrylic painting in general. Is that what they mean? Or, um... uh, hey Trina, do you mean stylistically? Do you do you mean like a a job? Uh, what do you think there, Trina? Like for Disney. The crow. Yep, the crow is very goth. Glenda says, oh, yes, Dark City. Yeah, Dark City's pretty brilliant. I like the, um... I think, the, I think there's a bit of overacting there on Kiefer. <laughs> yes, I... He's like, a bit... A little bit too much. But yeah. other than the Kiefer's constant breathing on the camera... <laughs> <laughs> fog it up a bit, put it a little hard. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. I, th- I think that, and, um... Uh, Jennifer Connelly's lovely. Oh, she's just a treat. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, she doesn't know what's going on, and it's not her job to. It's for no. the guy to figure she's it out. She's trying to figure out how to get back to Shell, Shell Beach. Beach, and we all are. Aren't we? It's it's yeah. true. There 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 are some there are some messages in there. It is a you know what if some if you know somebody li- likes the Matrix, but you're you're sick of hearing about the damn Matrix, show them Dark City. <laughs> show them Dark City. They'd like that. They might even like it more. If you but you're sick of okay so trina says about. yes in her style but just as a hobby oh well you know what if you haven't before i would recommend it sounds silly but um i recommend getting some of the coloring books that i do if you don't have those yet because they they already have kind of the guidelines on when you get the fun of coloring everything in and picking everything in but you've already got the nice outlines and characters and scenes and everything um, so if, that's always kind of fun. I don't know how serious th- um, this person is speci- specifically about artwork if they're just wanting to color or make paintings or anything. But um, if you're more serious about painting, I would recommend the tutorial that Matt was talking about earlier. The um, yeah, pop that up again if you want. Put there. That that really shows start to finish. Hey, this is what I do. Very step by step. Mix this with this. Do this. Do this. If you're trying to start to finish, do a, a painting. Painting. But if you're just looking for fun, I'd say get a coloring book and see, have fun with it. So Glenda asks, mm-hmm. "What is your favorite Halloween movie?" I like Trick or Treat. That's their favorite. I I, I think we were, we were talking about this last time. It's hard. I I'd have to think about what what movies are considered Halloween movies. I like a lot of horror movies in general, but like uh, that specifically have Halloween in it. Take place on um, Halloween. Well, I mean, my favorite horror movie is The Shining. Yeah, we saw that last night. Yeah, as um, the, those of you who follow my Facebook probably realized. <laughs> yeah, it's like, huh? I, I 
I well, I, re- I realized that. Again I was like, you know what? Danny's finger is like. It's like D- Danny's the, finger. It's like a character. Yeah. It, it's like how in in Huck Finn, how the river is a character, Maddie. <laughs> it's like Danny's finger is a character. Well, shining <laughs> the the uh, the overlook is a character. Yes. 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 I would argue. It, that. It's an and it, that'd be an easy argument. You'd get an A on your essay. Yeah, I would. Uh, but Tony is is a a character the too. The little boy mouth. that lives in my mouth. Um, <laughs> That's such a cute little kid thing to say. It sounds like something I would have said. I know. Um, and his little finger. Yeah. Um, but yeah, th- that little finger took out big bad Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Jack totally failed in his mission to destroy his family. <laughs> he he did, and he didn't do a very good job of keeping keeping care of the hotel either no I mean, he's really kind he, of a um, loser isn't he he is a, he is I mean, an he's absolute really pathetic. yes if you if yeah. you read if you're fans of the book I love which the book. which i'd recommend yeah, like you will book. you yeah. will find the I character the not so much scary as he is a tragic it's a tragic alcoholic story it, it is you, besides it get... being haunted and you feel very bad for him he did not have a chance no no he it's very very sad that, man. yeah I, I, I really like the book, and but I, I love the Kubrick. I think I like the movie better than the book, in a way, but I think it's a great book. I don't really care for either of the the non-Kubrick Shinings. Like, there was the um, miniseries when I was... I have it on Me DVD. Uh, I watch it every now and then. In the, well, there's the one that was more recently done, too, wasn't there, that we rented? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think so. What? <sighs> Maybe not. I guess it's the same one. That's the one that's got... Stephen King's Rebecca De Mornay, where he catches on fire, and right. Rebecca De Mornay, and it, right, Rebecca De Mornay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stephen King melts in it; it's yeah. awesome. Oh, and that and it has it in the um, the special, yeah, the special so, features at the end of the DVD. So I would, so I would, <laughs> I t- I watched the DVD that, and I took a picture of of Stephen King melting, oh. and I kept texting it to Jasmine like at, at, <laughs> just to yeah, mess with he, her. Yeah, like follow Matt on Facebook. He's kind of like that in real life. Well, yeah, that's texting. true. So, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Watching a uh, Stephen King melt is is pretty great. Yeah. Creep Show is a great movie. I love Creep Show and Creep Show too. Do you like Creep Show, Jasmine? Yeah, yeah, I do. Do you like Creep Show too? I think so. Which ones are those? Which ones? Uh, Creep Show those? two would have had old I, I old wooden head in it and the raft. Old Woodenhead, the raft. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so that you remember yeah. that um, the the raft is where there's this nasty little thing that looks like a trash bag that lives in that this looks lake. Like a trash bag. Yeah, and and it, but it can like it can eat people, and it consumes them. I don't know if I remember those. Okay, do you remember Ch- old Chief Woodenhead? Yeah. Okay, so that that's where the Native American statue comes uh-huh. to life. Okay, yeah. you've you've seen the raft though. Okay, yeah, I know I have seen it, but I, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, and they keep bringing up Poncho and uh, um oh Poncho oh Cisco. They bring that. That's okay. the um. It's not a light motif, but it's something that they keep bringing it okay. up in everything, and it's it's actually Is becomes that pretty the, funny. Pa- all the parts of the anthology. Yes, oh, they they always okay. mention that. Um. I can hold my breath for a long, long time. Yeah. Yes, Leslie Nielsen was brilliant. Yes, yeah, so in first creep show one. I love sand. that. I love it. Um, yeah, Father's I, I Day, like, like the crate, and Adrian Barbeau, and um, there's a monster that lives in this treasure chest. And oh, yeah, Billy. Call yeah, Billy. just yeah. Why don't you just tell him to call you Billy? <laughs> yeah, that's what I, remember I that. love that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Lovely, but yeah, creep show is great. Father's Day. And I got my cake. Uh, the uh, Jordy Verrill, which who's plays by Stephen King. Yeah. And um, there's a meteor. Yeah. 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 He's like the the farmer. Yes, there. and yeah. that that is Stephen King's best acting role I think that he's had. Um, Jordy Verrill. He he does okay. the best job versus his cameos in his films. Like in Pet Cemetery. Or... I don't even remember who he was in Isn't Pet he, Cemetery. Doesn't he? Doesn't he give directions? Maybe, but it's not that good. Jordy Verrill's awesome. It's like a whole a whole segment. Uh, yeah. Oh, and the cockroach dude. Who? The cockroach, uh, the guy who lives, who's a neat freak. Oh yeah. And so. um, yes, and the cockroaches yeah. attack him, and then they they eat him. Yeah. Mr. Pratt's. Huh? Mr. Pratt's. <laughs> That's what the guy and the yeah. I've seen Creep Show eight point five million times. I think. It just keeps getting funnier every, every time. single time I see it. Not to mention the fact you're talking to a dead, dead guy. guy. 
So what do you think? Am I qualified? Yep. Blob help knows it's meteor. <laughs> and then uh, Stephen King rubs his fingers on there. But yeah, I watched that. Ted Ted Danson's in it. Um, Leslie Nielsen. I uh, mentioned some others. Adrian Barbeau. Uh, just brilliant. Good show. Good good movie. Yeah, Beetlejuice is fantastic. Oh, I love Beetlejuice. Yeah. Be, you know, if somebody does that, one that that's it's rare that somebody says they don't like Beetlejuice. Huh? I don't know. If I've known anybody. <laughs> Shisa, uh, uh, Bob helps us. Meteor Shisa. <laughs> he even spelled it with the funny S thing. The S set. The thing that looks like a B. An S set. Yeah, so it looks yeah. like a big old sloppy B. None yeah. of that, Jed. Uh, it's, a, it's like two S's in a row. Yeah, something like that. S set. Shut up, Brio. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, Creep Show's Creep Show is is one of the is where I realized I loved anthologies. I will watch bad on anthologies because I love them. If you guys can recommend any horror anthologies, uh, what that means, guys, if you don't know, it's like you're watching a horror movie and there are several stories within that. I really, really like that sort of thing. Um, yeah. It makes me happy. Tales oh, from the Dark Side, the movie is awesome and Blondie is actually oh, kind of, yes, she's a little bit in too, that. too uh, incredible in it. Yeah, yeah that's that. She's I really like cute that. in that and one. I loved every hair. She's Yes, awesome. Tales from the Dark Side, the movie is fantastic. And the, yeah. the main story with the little kid, uh, played by Joey Lawrence's little brother, something Lawrence, uh, is great. Have you watched Stephen King's Rose Red? I have not, Crispy. But, um, yeah, those, those are great. I like that. But yeah, Tales from the Dark Side of the Movie is, would be an anthology. It'd be, a, um, also you can consider a series of, uh, like something like Twilight Zone. You can call that an anthology series. What, or something like Black Mirror when it's like Black Mirror, you can call that an anthology series. story every time it's not like the same Right, characters. it's not the same people necessarily. Yeah. Twilight Zone would be that, Tales from the Dark Side. The act. Cat's Eye, that's great. Ah, uh, Cat's Eye. Yep. Hey, yeah. Cat's Eye is great. That has Drew Barrymore in it. Does, it. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. I love Cat's Eye. I love that little nasty guy. Oh, the little guy. <laughs> just wants to, yeah. He wants to steal, oh, uh, so steal her breath. And then Kitty. And the kitties eat oh, the each kitty story. Cat who wants to steal. Yeah, and that has a Quitter's Ink in it. Oh, the, uh, the smoking, the quitting yeah. smoking one. Yeah, yeah James the Woods. Fingers. Yeah. Yeah, James Woods yeah. is in it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, what about Tales from the Hood? That's pretty darn good. I saw I it, but saw I that. cannot remember it. I need to see it again. I didn't see that. You know what movie I haven't seen for a long time that's really gross and scary, but I love it? Uh, what? Um, the People Under the Stairs. Oh, gross. I remember seeing that when we were way the hell out in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico. <laughs> we stayed at that horrible motel. Oh, that sounds like New Mexico. God. I love New Mexico. I'm just joking. Oh, I um, do too. This was, this was like not even in a proper city. We probably it couldn't afford like in much. in the middle of nowhere. Were we on our way to camping? Like, uh, it was, yeah. We, I think the next day we didn't even camp. We just slept in the van. I forgot. This was oh, a long time ago. Anyway, KOA? We, we stayed there. At, yeah. Yeah. And, and we stayed at a horrible place, a horrible motel, and we watched the people under the stairs. Yeah. When he sucker punches a doggy. <laughs> The funniest thing. I rewound and watch it over again when he punches it. It's I know it. Don't feel bad for the doggy. It's it's a it's really an funny scene. Doggy. Yeah. Uh, it's the little kid and he was in, I think it was, it was the same kid and he was like in Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, wasn't he? I don't know. Pandemonium, 1982. I don't know that one. I haven't thought of people under the stairs for ages. I know Mountain Poppy. I just thought of it. Uh, Tammy says you made me You're spit welcome. my milk. Yeah, but I, <laughs> it's the do, it's a big Rottweiler sort of dog, right? Okay. Yeah, I think, and, and he's, and the kid's got the door open and the dog's about to get there. Yeah. <laughs> he sucker punches the dog and shuts the door. Uh, it just could not, the thing is in real life, that dog would just not have stopped. That, that tiny child couldn't have even made a, a scratch on that dog. Mm. Oh, that's so cute. Were you there at the zoo that time when that goose was biting the baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it was it was a big horrible Canada goose that there there was a problem. They kind of took over part of the zoo in Kansas City, and it, it came up and was like biting this baby, and the parents aren't paying attention. And the dad turned around and just like drop kicked the goose, and it went. 
<laughs> it was a mean goose, and the goose was fine. Don't feel bad for the goose. But it was literally just biting the hell out of a baby. It was in a stroller. It was hilarious all around. But I can't. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> the guy that was funny. And it was like at the zoo when there's all this other cool animal shit going on. And it's like this goose coming and biting a baby. I remember goose, geese always <laughs> attack Amber for some I know. <laughs> <laughs> and Amber, Amber would, like swipe sister, swipe yeah. at the goose and the goose would duck <laughs> it's like the goose has got skills oh man that was <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and you remember how slobber hottest jasmine yes, that's jasmine's that kid it always attacking her uh-huh. <laughs> oh man those are they those are funny that? Yeah, Tammy says I'm crying here. That, <laughs> things like that are funny, is you can't do anything about it. And the thing is, you can't really go full force on an animal, no, because you don't want to no, hurt the animal. So it's kind of like, what do I do? You just animal. want them at bay, you know. You just don't want them eating children. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the Kansas City geese are scary. What's yeah. the willies? I remember for a while they were. Um, there was like a city sponsored thing where they were um, shooting them and like be- giving them to harvesters like for um, homeless people like to eat gooses remember well if there yeah. if there are too many it's kind of i mean yeah, I, they i'm were taken i'm over, a vegetarian right? i don't eat meat no, but i, I, don't eat I meat understand about ecology a bit yeah. and yeah. um yeah, and i were, understand that some things like deer yet. need to be maintained because if there's so many deer that they're just going to stay in the woods and starve well, that to death because in Missouri lot. Too, that's like, what i'm saying it's a Missouri and issue starving to death every year because there's too many deer hey monster house is a good horror movie god do you remember theo watching yes that? i was telling brandon about that because we we're watching oh a youtube god. video by yeah. the guy named actually it's a these they're pretty good videos uh mm-hmm. look up on youtube guys uh gosh uh taxi uh, rebel taxi rebel taxi I don't know if you want to learn more about animation um, it, it just kind of reviews of it stuff, oh, okay. but yes, I was telling Brandon about my three year. Was he three then? Probably three my three year old nephew's reaction to Monster House <laughs> back in the day. Oh my gosh! So he was eating a bowl of macaroni and cheese, and I started the Monster House DVD because I thought, oh, let's watch this together. And about thirty seconds into it, he put his hand on my leg. Remember? Yeah. And he Aww. was he he did, and he had his. Yeah, he had hand a on a spoon. Yeah, 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 he had like a spoon of macaroni and cheese, and it was like halfway to his mouth. And he did not move for, for like the entire an hour and a half. Film. His hand was like this, and he was just staring at the TV. He was mesmerized. He was absolutely hypnotized by it. Yeah. But he put his hand on me. It's like I imagine it's for moral support. Yeah. Um, hilarious. Is it? Well, that's that's, a, that's kind of a strange movie. I mean, because it's like his his dead wife is kind of inhabiting the house. Right. Yeah, okay. she's a it's, it's she's a, a scary ass yeah, ghost. Yeah, she's like she was the fat lady from a, a, a carnival. Yeah, a carnival. Yeah, like an old timey like show yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a clever, well done. It's a weird show. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I liked it. I sort of don't know the audience for it because it was it was kind of mature themes for very small children. Well, like, well I guess three. Was Jasmine, the uh, yeah. the video we were watching was uh-huh. talking about the rise and fall of oh. Brandon, if you're in the room, I'm I forget what it's called because it's uh, it okay? You know, um, Golden Compass, not Golden Compass, uh, uh the the uh, the Christmas movie, the train. Uh, Uncanny Valley. Yeah, uh, it's, polar, it's it is Polar, polar, polar Express. Express. Yeah. So there's the, the, it's whatever that process is used to. Rotoscoping. Ca- it's not rotoscoping. Oh. It's modern. It's the modern version Motion of Motion capture. It's something like Motion that. Motion capture is when they put yeah, the but little the, things on it. And- the, like, yeah, but it, it's specifically with them. with okay. that that technique that they used in mm-hmm. several films. And Monster House was one of them. Yeah. They just made the characters look more cartoony. In yeah, that. well, of course, could they still? Robert Zemeckis, same? yes, Robert Zemeckis did all of them. Did he do Monster House? Also? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. And that was that was the yeah, motion capture. It is motion capture. I already said that. Says so that. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, Brandon heard me. Oh, okay. So yes, those it was by Image Movers, and they did. Like one or two movies with Disney. Yeah. Yeah, but then I forget which the, the last movie they did. I think it was uh, Mar Mars Needs Moms. Yes. And then it died. I didn't see that. Um. Yeah. I I don't know. Well, you know me. I'm a old timey fan of hand drawn animation, so I've got 
really specific ideas. Yeah. Something. But that doesn't stop me from liking a movie or anything. That just is me being a jerk about art. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know? I, um, I, um, I, I think that if the, oh, Beowulf was one too, Jasmine. Beowulf. Yeah. Okay. What oh did, my God, what did Ro- Robin, what did Sorry. Robin say? Yeah. This is what I was telling Brandon. <laughs> she did. What'd she say? Um, this is my stepmother, Robin. And this um, is Beowulf from like 2006, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the it's the rotoscope from the um, yeah um it, yeah she was watching it with my dad and she's like, hey, I can tell. Look at the background. That's just a painting. That's that's not like the real background. And she didn't realize that it was an animated. Yeah. Film. I don't know if like she didn't have her glasses yet or something, but yeah, she thought it was live action. That is that is just the that best. That's just great. I love you, Robin. <laughs> but yeah, uh. With Polar Express, yeah. that is that, was some that is peak there. Yeah. uncanny yeah, valley. That, was, that will either that, creep uh, you out or warm your heart. I, I, I find I it I, disturbing. Know, I never really liked the Polar Express, like the book, very much. Even I remember when it won the Caldecott Award. I used to really keep track of that when I was a kid for some reason, and I was just like, oh, really? The uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children. That was one. Also, uh, another that. one uh, they did uh, the Jim Carrey Night um, uh, Christmas Carol. Hi. Yeah, remember that? That wasn't too bad, but that that was also a Zemeckis. So there, so Brandon and I watched this probably I don't know like twenty minute video uh, by Revel Taxi, and he kind of goes into it and what he thinks about it, and uh-huh. it, it, he's he's very funny. Oh, okay. So he's very entertaining. Yeah. Huh. He gives good reviews. Hmm. The California Raisins. Oh, I, Claymation is just awesome. Oh, I love I, mean, Clay, I, I can't say much oh, bad no, about Claymation. Any sort of stop action animation, I am. Ardman. I like Ardman stuff. Which, uh, if you guys don't know Ardman, it's uh, Walson Gromit. Yeah. Yeah. You like Ardman stuff, Jasmine? I sure do. Yeah. We've got a book here. Yeah. Or uh, uh, Ray Harryhausen. That's oh, Harryhausen stop. is, that's some is good the stop bomb. Action. Yeah. yeah, that's the best one. Yeah. It doesn't get better than Harryhausen. It doesn't. Nope. Walrus Giganticus. That is the height of um, special effects in film. Yeah, I would just... I his studio I've seen so many photos and a little bit of it. his studio is so beautiful it had it had just because it had models remember when what was it we saw that was like um Ray Harryhausen and um the two Rays yeah Ray Bradbury yeah, and, Ray and Ray Bradbury. Harryhausen yeah yeah they're, they're that was, buddies that was, cool. was that a movie what was that we saw uh that was a documentary was about Ray, Ray Harryhausen yeah that's um cool. but yeah t- two incredible pioneers yeah I mean, art doesn't get much more pioneer. But <laughs> unless you're talking like, I don't Covered know. Wagon <laughs> Covered wagon times. George Powell. Maybe so. I don't know George Powell. I probably should. Oh, we've got seven minutes. Six and a half minutes to raffle. You guys excited? Yeah. The time machine. Oh, okay. The older time machine. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. I like that one. Yeah, I, uh, I, the first Harry Housen that I, I was, that I think I knew as a kid, even though it's in bits and pieces, was Clash of the Titans. Oh, yeah. Which actually was later, later in his career. Yeah. In, in, in some ways, which is funny. I like, I like the original Clash of the Titans a lot. I didn't care for that redo of it. It was not good. Uh, I, I'm sorry if you did like it, but I, I hated it. Not, oh, okay. I, I was like, how is well, like Perseus it. is like the gods, always the gods. It's like you and haven't given us a Bubo, reason. Like the first couple minutes, that pissed me off. What's that? that? The Bubo, the little owl. They oh them, yeah, like, they're the mocking it. Minutes. I'm like, screw you guys. Yeah, but uh, uh, <laughs> Trina's excited. Huh? Um, Trina's excited for the raffle. Um, but yeah, Perseus in the new <laughs> Clash of Titans. He's he, Complaining about the gods and the the writers of that hadn't given us a reason to hate the gods along no. with them because the whole thing about a demigod and if you guys study like story theory at all the whole theory of the get, demigod is to get a mortal included yeah they bridge the gap that's between for your audience to identify right with somebody so we we that's else. why we love heroes they we would strive to be like them the Perseus that was in that movie wasn't anything of, yeah. worth striving for so no, i, I for it makes yeah. no sense yeah i didn't like it c-o-t-t was his swan song 
Clash of the Titans. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you talking Harryhausen? Yeah, that's what, um, the gods have no logic. Yeah. Unlike humans. Well, the Greek gods are utterly fallible. Um, they're just powerful people, really. Zeus is, a. Uh, I mean, Zeus is just basically a dude. Basically a dude. He turns himself into a swan blob. <laughs> <laughs> tell that to Elena. I will. I'll warn her. <laughs> Stay away from that swan. Oh, we have um, some some swans here in town. Yeah, we have yeah, some they, swans. Yeah, they, they, they visited right a little... We don't usually have swans, mm -mm. but they visited this little pond and they've kind of just hung out. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're coming in the celebration, yeah. it's uh, like back behind the high school Celebration right? Boulevard, it's yeah. in between like some condos area, condo areas. And uh there's a pond there and a couple swans and I've seen them, I don't know, about 40 times now. Yeah. There's no place to really park there cuz I wanted uh -huh. to go out there and like give them a piece of bread or something. <laughs> but swans are mean, but they're beautiful. Oh, Greg and Childs are manny. Sorry. Lakeland has black swans. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I I've there are beautiful black uh Swans in the um the or parks in houses. London, uh, huh? The parks in London. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. by our London houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I miss them. I miss them too. I suppose they miss me. I don't know. I've certainly given them leftover bread. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think we're supposed. Doesn't the Queen like smack you in the I face? Think she if technically you... owns all the swans, right? She I yeah. I she owns the swans. <laughs> but yeah, the Queen doesn't put up with that. She gets so upset. Three minutes. Gosh, I wonder what the giveaway will be. I don't know. Because you pick the person first and then the prize. I pick the person, then I spin the yeah, wheel. I need to change this next time. This stupid camera is going to bonk me in the head. Is this is this frozen? It just got frozen. Okay. That's, that's funny because it wasn't like just a minute ago. It's not because I was moving it and trying to show the face of the main I don't know. Is it? I don't know either. Is that working? Yeah, it's working now. Yeah. Well, we'll. I promise, guys. We'll try to figure out during the um, week a way to um, make this show a big. Pain we'll we'll just put or, it on the other. We'll put it on the other. Yeah. Piece. So, it'll be fun, anyways. I never show from that side of the room, really. Yeah, I, I think it'd be the our, the way our setup is now. Uh -huh. Um, it's just it's basically messing with the cameras. I think the mics will be fine. Because yeah, your mic yeah, is yeah, freestanding there. And then also, like, when I do crowdcast during the week for Patreon, that would be kind of good. That way, if I'm working on one of the big pictures, I could do that, and I wouldn't have to go back and forth. <laughs> hey, Wild Elf. Nice to see you. Two minutes till Two the minutes end. Two minutes until the end. Well done. <laughs> well played, I might say. Well played. <laughs> ah. Let's we're gonna sign some papers tonight. Yeah, that's fun. I uh, I've got a fun night of signing paper. Thank you. I had a great time today, says Tammy. Oh, good. Thanks for keeping us company. Yeah. We always appreciate. It. You know, when when no one's here, Jasmine, and I just talk like this. I sit at a weird table across the room, and Jasmine paints. Yeah. Actually, we do the I same talk thing. like this whether anybody's here or not. Yeah, I saw you on crap. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, if you like watching Jasmine paint. I want to invite you all to Crowdcast. Oh, um, yeah. I'm not sure when you're going to paint this week. Yeah, I can, um, I've, got, I've got to But do, keep this link handy. Yeah. I really want you to um, check usually, Jasmine out up there. Yeah, you, and this if is you're, just for Patreon people. I usually do it once, twice a week, usually for six-hour stretches at once. So I just sit and paint, 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 paint. I don't put the mics on. I just leave the cameras up because Matt's usually at the office or doing something else. So it's just me painting, basically. But I get a lot more work done. <laughs> I paint about 10 times as fast when I'm just being quiet and not, like, talking to Matt and stuff, so. And Angela said, thank you. It's been a wonderful hour. Wish we could have home to see the full Twitch. You can watch, you can see the Tiger King and Madonna in the first couple hours <laughs> when you watch it, when you rewatch it, Angela. Exactly. You'll be surprised. Yeah, also, uh, you guys, you can always watch um, the archives of these up at Twitch. They We keep the broadcasts up there for two months after we oh record my gosh. them. And then we put them up on YouTube where they get stored indefinitely, I think, or something. Yeah. Okay, so um, somebody going to win a prize? Yep. And the winner is Kendra. Kendra! Kendra. 
Kindra and Sha ninety nine. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Congratulations. Let's, let's see what she got. How'd you win? Wait. Wrong thing. Darn it. I wanted to say. Kendra. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, what's the prize? Though? Okay, let's find out what the prize <laughs> is. We're gonna spin the wheel. A signed print of the week. Oh, hey! All right. <laughs> See, some. Well, I mean, that's still a cool prize, though. That is, yeah. All right. So you want a drawing for the. Print of the week, which is faces a fairy. Which is faces a fairy one fourteen. Well, I'll have to print out another one then. Cause yep. I'm signing this one, we've given away two of these this after broadcasting. Oh, that one, and I will sign it. And she got a kitty cat, so that's nice. Woohoo! Yay! All well, right. We will be back for sure at a Twitch here next week on Sunday, the whatever that is, the twenty fifth. Ah. Uh -huh. I think it's the 25th. Whatever next Sunday is, we'll be here at Twitch, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll probably I'll probably do a crowdcast uh, maybe next Saturday. I don't know. I've got to work on some things on during the week that I can't put on the screen. So um, yeah, probably Saturday I'll do a crowdcast and then we'll do another Twitch on Sunday. So you can watch me paint all you want. I'll I'll be posting also some. Close ups up on uh, Patreon of this giant painting here so you can see some of the other stuff that's going on because, like I said, there's a lot of characters in it and there, it's a big painting. You can't see all of it from where you're at. But I'll take some, maybe I'll take a video and show some of the little characters and stuff. But um, I'll keep you posted, definitely. I'm talking like it's the end of the broadcast. It is, right? There's like It totally another, is. It's not another hour or something. I always feel dumb if I do that. Yeah. My last all right, guys. Audience. <laughs> Catch you later. All right. All right. That means Bye. we need to stop. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Bye.